out. Lakers got the win, 136-134. Well, what drama in this one. And the Lakers break the three-game slide against the Kings. De'Aaron Fox finished the game with 34 points and nine assists. The Kings look to get back in the win column tonight when the Magic visit the Golden One Center. Coverage begins at game at 5:30 with game night on Sacktown Sports. Those are your headlines. Time to start the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. The Carmichael Dave Show. He's on the microphone when he's not on the microphone. He's playing a song and when he's not playing a song, he's on the microphone and then boom with Jason Ross. Jay, Jay, hey, my headset's. Call or text at 916-339-1140. It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross on Sacktown Sports. Uh Uh-huh. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Good morning, Jason Ross. La, 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 la. Do you normally have the lights on behind you, like the no, spotlight looking things? They because work. The half of our that's what I was saying, because like on the YouTube chat, it yeah. looks like, it looks weird. It does. I'm, I'm watching right now. <laughs> like it almost looks fake. Yeah, it looks a little blown out, is I think what they say in the photography world. Yeah, so photographers know. Yes. And Jason is, uh, there you go, Jason. Oh, I look. oh yeah, dreamy. Look you do. This is kind of a lower left angle. But I'm giving them finger guns. Uh, Always go with the finger guns. When in doubt, finger guns. Hello to everybody on the uh, YouTube chat, everybody listening, everybody using this as your alarm. Sorry, this is the first thing you hear in the morning. Uh, <laughs> Brian wants to know if we have power, kind of. <clears throat> We had to fight for it, though. So, yes. Yeah, so, and we had to fight for the power, indeed. In addition to fighting to come in here this morning on the roads, of which are about as treacherous as I've seen in my entire life living here. Yeah, I rode my bike in. Did you? So you didn't need to take a shower this morning? No. Yeah. You just kind of head and shoulders it up on the way in? Yeah. It's not a hair joke, by the way. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, the, wind, the, 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 the rain was sideways. Uh, I was in the middle lane. I might have broken 55 once uh, because water, and I was in the middle lane because water was pooling uh, on the right yeah. side. So you could drive 55, uh, uh, Sammy. Barely. <laughs> um, I saw a number of uh, wrecks on the way in both sides. In effect? Uh, wrecks in effect. That's a rump shaker, right? Yeah. Yeah. Dog in our complex named Rex. He's really cool. And uh, and then, of course, we get here, and no, the power is out in the building. We're on emergency generator power, yeah. which means that there are no lights on. Like, our gate doesn't work. Uh, you got to you gotta enter a code. Fine, whatever. Uh, and then you get here, and the hallways are pitch black. So you got to pull your phone out and, 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 and navigate two flights of stairs. Yeah. So... I, it is good to see that, um, you know, I mean, listen, but, you know, radio has got to happen. It does. You know, I still think a good bit would be for the three of us and then the three that are down the hall to all be laying on the ground but, at the bottom of the stairs and take a picture. But, the, yeah, well, right. Because, and the thing is, we can take that picture. We'd have to take it because nobody's going to see it because right. everyone else is not coming in today. Yes. We, we're the only, the, everyone's working remote today except us. I feel heroic. I, yes, we are, we are, we have, we have braved the thing. <laughs> yeah on top of the thing with the thing. So we are here. Uh, I'm, I'm not entirely pleased about it, but we are here. And I, and really that just comes from, I was honestly, I was just a little scared this morning. Yeah. I don't get, I get angry when I get scared or surprised. Yes. I was very, I was very, uh, it was a very treacherous commute in today. We had a situation like this. Maybe it was the first storm and they're all blending together, but it was a weekend where the Kings were playing on the road and Scott Marsh arrived earlier than I did doing game night. Yeah. Sent the text, be very careful. It's dark in the stairway. I'm thinking, Okay. Right. Okay. Uh-huh. How many times have I been that? Whatever story? Marsh. That is the darkest is. spot in it the is. history of the planet. It's kind of scary, dude. It is. You, you can't see a thing. No, it is. When you say pitch black, it's pitch black. It's worse than that. And so, what could be better than slippery, yeah, wet, flooding conditions with God knows what trees are down, and then sliding around in here to go up and down stairs to you know? It's fun. And by the way, it's not like we have a mechanism to uh, broadcast from. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, we do. Oh, wait, we do. We did it for two years. Yeah. But anyways. Uh, also, uh, 
I guess the point is this before we move on. If you don't have to drive, don't please do not. Not only is there just like debris all over the highways and stuff, there's like I almost hit a tire on my way in. <laughs> Seriously. It, it, and you can't there's no visibility. There's, and Californians can drive in the rain. A lift. And, and I'm with can you. Can we change that one today? This is one of the times yeah. where you have all of that coming together. Listen, uh, it's not worth it. Uh, if you got to use a sick day, do it. I'm sure. I hope, you know, knock on wood, your bosses will understand. Uh, just it's not worth it. Just stay home. Uh, light, light a fire or something, you know, cook some brownies. I, I don't know. Whatever. I don't know. Whatever you do. Yeah. It's just it's it's really, really, really not worth it. But we are here. We are here to serve you. That is what we do. We are live and local. and We are happy, happy, happy to uh, uh, be uh, a part of that, at least. And we've got a lot. Guys, I say, dare I say, a lot to get to. We do. Oh, and by the way, uh, I've, I'm recovering from my backyard being destroyed, too. I did see the pictures. Yeah, it's pretty terrible. R.I.P. Gazebo. As are the Cardinals. They are trying to recover as well. <laughs> Let's go. Let's do it. Leading off the three top stories in the morning. Huge news. This is very important. Here's cut number one. And here we go. Everybody. Huge oh, news. This is very important. Here's cut number nope, that's not it either. Oh, it is. Hey, you know what's going on? And it's funny, Jay, just so you know, because I know you roll your eyes, I did mute it. And you know what happened? It unmuted on its own. Do you buy that? No. Okay. Cut number one. And Purdy going to throw, and it is caught by George Kittle again. Give him 11 on the year, two today. Touchdown, George Kittle. Okay. We said this earlier. I'm going to say it again. I don't know if it's because the internet is wonky and it's compression or not. That does not sound like Greg Papa. A little bit different. Like the the cadence is the same. Yeah. You know it's Greg. Yeah. But like even at the end, he's like, dude, kill. <laughs> wasn't uh when Greg was on Friday, kind of mentioned he'd been a little under the weather. That's yeah. what I'm wondering. Is that was that his voice yeah. or was that like some internet? We gotta get him above the weather. <clears throat> yeah, why is it always under the weather? Yeah. Would you rather be under the uh, no, yeah. think about it. Like you're above, you're above the clouds. The, yeah, okay. It's all nice. Look at the weather down there. Yeah. We gotta get him above the weather for the playoffs. Why is weather sickness? Yeah. Right, Down like we're six. technically all under the weather, aren't we? Sometimes, unless yeah. you're on a plane, right? Yeah, cut number two. I mean, I don't know. Cut number you know. two. Second one on the way. It is good. Two point Laker lead. No timeouts for Sacramento. Three point six to go the length of the floor. A two would tie it and force overtime. A three could win it. They finally give the ball to Fox. Inbounds pass. The Barnes, right back to De'Aaron. Races, stops, launches from 40. Heel of the ribbon out. Lakers got the win. 136-134. Boo. Boo. Yeah, I'm getting tired of these, these, these losses. They're stupid. Especially the Lakers. Sorry for my language. It's a little colorful for 6 a.m. I get it. it Jay. We can have fun all day Thomas today. Bryant. Talking about, you know, the refs and how DeMontis Sabonis's face apparently is not something you can foul. Yes, I saw the clip. Uh, we can talk about how that 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 Fox air quotes foul on Schroeder. It's a foul. It's just a foul no one calls in that situation. It's like calling palming in that situation or something. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just so That'd be great if the other ref came in. No, I had palming first. Yeah. Like, what? Can I, yeah. can I say this, though? I uh-huh. think the worst thing committed, though, on uh, Friday night or sorry, whenever the hell the Saturday game Saturday night. The a lack of defense. Well, that's and that's that really the thing. And I know that fans don't want to hear this, but sorry. Like, you, you, it's what I said on the post game Saturday. It's a fight thing. Uh, MMA or boxing. Don't leave it in the hands of the judges. Right. And the Kings, obviously, and it shouldn't be this way, and I agree with you, but they should not have – it should not have been that close. Yeah. And when you don't play defense or you play very little defense or you play – because two minutes into the game, I tweeted out, what an idiot. I tweeted out some pretty good defensive possessions here by the – I love the rotations. There were some good closeouts. I, I, I was – Were you I, watching an old game? Apparently, I was. Yeah. Don't leave it in the hands of the judges. You know what I'm saying? And and that's what they did. Did they get screwed a little bit? And and it was fun watching Laker fan and Kings fan go back and forth on social media because Laker fan thinks LeBron got screwed, which I find hilarious, but it's just funny the perspective. Sure. Here's the thing. 
yeah, they got a little screwed. That's not why they lost the game. They lost the game because they didn't play defense. We'll hear from Mike Brown later who agrees with that. And it's a combination of they got to do better. A little bit in Monty's lap at this point, too, I think. There, okay. there, there needs to be some. It's time. Need help. Red flag. Mm. Uh, Morse code. Need, need, some, need, need a big man down low. Somebody to help. Rashawn Holmes. We also have the all show. All right, we all show have. All right, see. All right, see. Uh, we have the national championship game tonight. TCU Georgia. We'll talk about mm -hmm. that a little bit as well. I know you and I are the only ones in town. They're like, yay. We will take a break. When we come back, one of the game's greatest goes out in style. And when winning, gets you mm, justifiably fired. We'll mm -hmm. uh, check into the NFL next. The only place you'll find Malik Monk is Sacktown Sports. Oh, my. What an athletic move that time by Malik Monk. Hey, Sacramento. It's Malik Monk, and you're listening to the home of the Sacramento Kings, Sacktown Sports. Your local sports leader. American Energy wants to make sure you and your family are safe this winter with a $49 furnace tune-up. Plus, if you're ready for a new one, get half off with American Energy's 50% off furnace special. With 0% financing and payment plan options available, there's no reason to keep putting off making your home safe, warm, and comfy for you and your family this holiday. Call American Energy today at 916-520-9990 or visit AmericanEnergyAir.com. American Energy, making the uncomfortable comfortable. 50% off furnace when you purchase a whole home HVAC system. Limited time only. Cannot be combined with with other offers or specials. At Folsom Lake Honda, in addition to great prices on new Hondas, we stock the best selection of quality pre-owned vehicles, and each one of those vehicles is priced to sell now. With new cars in high demand, Folsom Lake Honda has a great selection of quality one-owner trades with low miles, and each is priced to sell now. Every used vehicle on the lot comes with a Carfax vehicle history report and has passed a safety inspection. Shop our entire selection at FolsomLakeHonda.com. Folsom Lake Honda, yeah, your one-stop Honda. The Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. Call or text at 916-339-1140. On Sacktown Sports. Here's the snap to Ellinger. He's looking. He's got to free himself up. Steps to his right and guns long downfield and tipped and incomplete. It's over. The Texans win in Indianapolis. For only the fourth time in franchise history, they beat the Colts on the road. 32-31, the final. Awesome. Congratulations to Houston. They get the big win. Here's Lovey Smith. All right, this is the option that I had. So you're saying, hey, guys, I'm playing this last game. You know, all that you've been working for all your life, you play to win, forget that, lose the game on purpose. I think that would be a hard one to get by. They won't expect me to say that. I didn't. What well, we work each week, our game plan has been to win the game. It's kind of simple as that. And that's what we followed through on. Great, yeah. and you're fired. Yeah, and you just cost yourself a full. You went from number one to number two. There's yeah. no lottery in the NFL, right? You just went from number one to number two. Um, the only possible saving grace there, the only possible saving grace, is that Bryce Young, very well, maybe the number one pick in the draft, and Houston needs a quarterback. Chicago does not. You, right. you would think. Right. You never know. You never know. Uh, I understand you play to win the game. Yeah, I get it, Herm. But you don't need to ask your players to lose. Right. You just don't play them. You play. The, well, that's you. Yeah. You play the practice squad. Right. You play. You play the. And if they win, then they win. Yeah. It feels like their whole team's a practice squad. Yeah. But right. at the end, when they scored, I'm like, go for two. Yeah. Just because. I mean, you one, you could miss, and you lose by one. And I don't think anybody goes. I think you should have got that game in overtime. So I'm I'm glad they approached it that way. But what I'm seeing that's interesting now on this story is how many people are calling out the Texans. I don't know that they're validating that Lovey Smith should keep his job. He got one year, but they're calling him out more so thinking you guys kind of did this as a one. As soon as you hired him, it was like a Rooney rule thing. And like you, they yes. knew they were going to fire him. If he was white, he'd still be there. Right. I mean, let's just, you let's give just, a guy one let's just, year let's just say it. Well, for a terrible team. Right. You know, Lovey Smith knew before that game he was getting fired. I, yeah. I agree. So with why you. not go for two? I don't blame Lovey I love Smith. It. I, I, <laughs> I mean, in that case, yes. Yeah. And they're going to go throw a ton of money at a Sean Payton or a Sean McVay or sure. whatever. It, it, it is sounding increasingly more like McVay will be leaving the Rams, which I find quite interesting, basically because. He doesn't want to be a part of a rebuild, and that's what they're staring at, which some, somebody said it well on uh, social media last night for once. They said, you know, when you think about it, nah, that sounds like way too much work is a really valid 
reason for leaving a job. <laughs> and that's about what it would be. He won a Super Bowl, and uh, it sounds like he may very well move on. But we thought that maybe a little bit last year yeah. as well after the Super Bowl. The Houston Texans, they are in the running for when we do our NFL awards at some point later. That's not going to happen, probably. <laughs> They are in the running for weirdest team in the league. Yeah. The Houston Texans won three times this year. They went undefeated on the road in division. All three of their wins, they went at Jacksonville, at Tennessee, at Indianapolis. Own the division. They own the division. They're they're undefeated on the road. If you had told me before the season the Houston Texans are going to be undefeated in the division on, on, on the road. Yeah, they might win that division. So I'd say, I'd say, oh wow, yeah. the Texans are making the uh, making the playoffs, yeah. and they lost every single other game. <laughs> That's weird, man. It is. So I get it. You know, Lovey Smith hopefully gets another shot somewhere. And by the way, Lovey may not be the greatest coach in the world. You know, he's had a few. He's had a few shots. I'm not. I'm not. You know, whatever. But as we'll talk about later in the NFL, it's a pretty quick turnaround if if you want it. And we're seeing that with the playoffs again. Yep this season uh Niners game we'll get into that a lot later Matt Barrows is going to join us at eight o'clock and one of the things we're going to talk to him about it came out I want to say the day or the day I think the day after we had him on last week he got to sit in the locker room for halftime he got unprecedented access Kyle Shanahan let him go in the locker room one of the things he was writing about was players coming up to him and saying what what are you what are you doing here he's like oh Kyle let me in and he got to be a fly on the wall Huh. And he got to write about what they do. During, I mean, that's access nobody else gets. Sure. That's, that's cool. our, our very own Matt Barrows. In that game, though, J.J. Watt going out in style, two sacks. Good for him. Yeah. I'm a J.J. Watt stan. Kyle Madsen and I used to argue about this all the time. Jay Mars, I think, got in that, too, a little bit with uh, Kyle because he's like that. I, I love J.J. Watt. I love his game. I love him as a person. Uh, there is a, unfortunately, not as small as it should be contingent of people that drag him because they think he's an attention seeker. I, I don't think since you're calling me out, drag is the correct mm. word. Make fun. Can we all agree? JJ Watt is a first ballot hall of famer. Yes. We can no all doubt. Agree. We can all agree. Best on that. defenders we've ever seen in football. Can we all agree? JJ Watt is an excellent human being. We can all agree on that. Can we all agree? It's also very coincidental that every time he does something good, there is a camera present. I will ask you this. Here's why I can't agree with that. How do you know that? Because every time he does something good, there's a camera present. But, but the key there is every time. And I know that you're exaggerating, but 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 seriously, how many things does he do great that don't get caught by the cameras? How we do you, don't know to your point. We that's don't fair, know that. But a lot do. We know that. And let me throw <laughs> one more tennis ball back at you. Ow. And what's wrong with that? Don't we live in a world, J Mars? Mm-hmm. Justin, yes. <laughs> don't we live in a world where maybe, maybe athletes or anyone else that is a true mentor, a true community individual, a true charitable individual, don't we live in a world where maybe that should be shared, viewed, and seen more? Yes, and there's people, especially with the advent of social media and reporting, that should share it. What I'm saying is because he shares it, it's a little self-serving. It's all I'm saying. Well, I will, then I guess I'd say this. I wish there were more self-serving people in the world yeah. like that. Oh, there's a ton. I'll help you I, find them. I, 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 I was, <laughs> if that means that more things are done for, for a little for kids, the good. For, which basically what Jay and everybody else is saying is they hate underprivileged kids. Who that's what I heard. It. That's what I heard yeah. is that they think they should, you know, not have cool things. Yeah. So that's fine. You, Jason, I'm disappointed in you. You, I expect. Jason, disappointment right now. I, I expect he was the one on the line all day Friday. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, remember racing Jaws? That bleeding into Monday? See, I told you this weather does great <laughs> stuff to me. I like the warm. Uh, it was, uh, It was. let's see, where are we at here? Sorry, because we don't, okay, we got a couple minutes. We can do this. Um, it was also a, I don't know how you say it, Jay. It's like a special day in Buffalo. It was. I mean, well, for the opening kickoff after all the ceremony, I mean, that was pretty awesome. The opening kickoff, and Naeem Hines says, hey, this one's for you, Damar. Fielded at the four by Hines, coming straight up the middle to the 20, cuts it back at the 25. He's got an alley down the right sideline to the 40, 50, down to the 40, 35, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Naeem Hines, 96 yards. Run, run as fast as 
as you can. You're not catching Hines. He's your end zone man. Buffalo on the board with the first play from scrimmage. Uh huh. 96 yards. Awesome. Three into nine is three. Three into six is two. That's 32. I don't have anything. I was, to, I was like, whoa, what's Sometimes happening people here? do like yeah. cool stuff with numbers. Yeah. Lamar Hamlin's three. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. 96 yards is divisible by three. See, he did that on purpose. And Demar, you saw a picture of him FaceTiming, which is like yeah. the biggest laugh smile on his face. It was so cool. The, the whole NFL was wearing, uh, I think I would say, love for Demar, uh, T-shirts, sweatshirts, whatever they were. Everybody came together. Uh, it was super, super cool. That What a moment in Buffalo. And then, hey, what I tell you, he's number three, right? How about the third quarter? Hines does it again. Hines takes it a yard deep in the end zone, going to bring it out. Out to the 10, to the 15, up over the 20, 25, 30. Gets away from the tackler, 35, 40, 45, 50. They're not going to get him. He's going for another one. 102 yards. Naheem Hines sets high mark on Blaze with his second kick return touchdown of the game. I'm going to say this right now. I kind of felt bad for Nick and all the rest of the chowder heads out no, you there. Didn't. You did? Okay, okay. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. Sorry. All right. I, I went 100% reveled <laughs> in, in their misery. But also, seriously, how crappy would it be to be a, whoever was playing Buffalo yesterday? Yeah. yeah. Nobody is rooting None. for hey. anyone who's playing Buffalo yesterday. Did you hear a uh, Heinz uh, quote in the post game of what he was telling Patriots that were chasing him? <laughs> no. Catch up. Heinz. I'm going to go beat myself in the crotch 57 times during yes, the break. That's the goal. Uh, uh, when we come back, the Did play. You go with 57 on purpose. Heinz 57. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Just so, checking. Well, you know. I'm slow. The uh, playoffs are set. Race and Just is not getting over. <laughs> playoffs are set. The Niners will have to hope the third time isn't a charm, mm-hmm. and they saw that last year. We'll explain that. Check out the Golf to Go Hour with Frank LaRosa every week on Sacktown Sports. Get the latest on equipment, area courses, people who play the great game, and plenty of good conversations about golf. It's the Golf to Go Hour every week with Frank LaRosa on Sacktown Sports. Golf to Go is brought to you by the Hagen Oaks Golf Super Shop, America's most awarded golf facility. Nature Wood Home Furnishings, where it's all about choices and always about quality. And safe credit union let us put you first hey it's carmichael dave you've heard me talk with my friend shelby about real estate for a long long time you know what shelby's main goal he just wants to help you save money no matter how so what is shelby doing right now with the real estate market all over the place he's pivoting solar with shelby.com and you might be saying like oh god solar uh." no listen Shelby's got it dialed in, especially if you're a PG&E customer. He can save you 30 to 50% off your bill, 30% federal tax credit, dollar for dollar. It comes back in cash. Protect yourself from inflation. These these numbers could be going up and up and up. 100% financing. Yeah, they've got it. Nothing down, 30% tax credit, 25-year guarantee. What more do you need? Go to solarwithshelby.com. That's what you need. You need solar. Solar with Shelby.com. Save yourself some money today and tell them Carmichael Dave sent you. Capital Casino, Sacramento's number one poker room, continues their $500 primetime football giveaway through the playoffs. That's $500 per game for the late games played Saturday and Sunday night. Still located conveniently downtown in a friendly environment for the best food, best service, and best actions. It's Capital Casino open 24-7. And please, as always, remember to gamble responsibly. 1-800-GAMBLER. Shop limited-time deals at the truckload event at Lowe's. Happening now. Save big on your favorites across the store. During this event, get up to 50% off select tools and accessories. Plus, find the perfect floor tile for your home for less. Get up to 50% off select styles while you can. Head to your local Lowe's store or visit Lowe's.com to shop the truckload event today. Well, it's 12 29 through 125 while supplies last. Selection varies by location. See Lowe's.com for details. Discount taken at time of purchase. Get in the zone. AutoZone. Welcome to AutoZone. What are you working on today? Ah, starting trouble. No one likes that. We'll get you set up for some stronger starts. 
you might just need a fresh charge, and we'll take care of that free of charge. But if it is time for a new battery, we've got replacement batteries that'll fit your needs, starting at just $79.99. You can learn more about our battery selection at AutoZone.com. That's what makes us America's number one battery destination. Get in the zone, Claim based on data from the NPD Group 2021. The NBA is going OFF. Listen, I got all the facts to back it all up. 30 teams after one dream, 24 seconds to make magic with the rock. Seven footers raining deep threes. Two guards dunking and leaving you in shock. And first year hoopers balling with ease. All that, all the time, all around the league. And the NBA isn't leaving anyone behind. The NBA season continues on ABC, ESPN, and TNT. If you want to save money and start the year right, Staples has you covered. I need everything to restock my business. File folders, break room supplies, even business cards. Staples has you covered with big savings on everything you need for your home or office. And now at Staples, rewards members get $30 back via Staples store bonus when they spend $100. That's $30 to use toward everything from ink to tech. Save big right now at Staples, the working and learning store. Rewards members only. Store bonus redeemable in-store only. Offer ends 121. Welcome, Doug Christie here for the Good Feet Store with a question. How is the game of basketball like the Good Feet Store? And the answer is the very best basketball players do it all. Shoot, defend, rebound, they do it all. And the Good Feet Store does it all too. Good Feet manufactures their own line of art supports over 300 styles, sizes, and flexibilities. Good Feet art support specialists at every store personally fit every customer for free with no obligation. Lastly, Good Feet sells its art supports exclusively at over 200 Good Feet stores nationwide. Sore feet, aching back, knee or hip pain, even plantar fasciitis? When nothing else works, come to the Good Feet store and experience the comfort, balance, and support of the Good Feet three-step art support system. The Good Feet store in Sacramento, Roseville, Stockton, Modesto, and now Vacaville off Nut Tree Parkway by Sprout online at goodfeet.com. It's hard to find a better selection of 4x4s in stock and ready to drive home today than you'll find at M&S Auto on El Camino right off the Cap City Freeway. New truck prices keep rising. M&S invites you to tour their selection of super clean 4x4s and trucks and save thousands. Tacomas, F-150s, Jeeps, Rams, Silverados. Great deals today on hundreds of 4x4s, SUVs, and muscle cars. First-time buyers are welcome. M&S Auto Sales, El Camino, just off the Cap City Freeway, msautogroup.com. This time check is brought to you by West Coast Men's Health Acoustic Wave Therapy. Sacktown Sports. Headlines. With your... Sacktown Sports Headlines. I'm Jay Mars. The 49ers clinched the number two seed in the NFC yesterday after a blowout win against the Arizona Cardinals. Play action, and Purdy going to throw, and it is caught by George Kittle again. Give him 11 on the year, two today. Touchdown, George Kittle! Purdy finished the game with three touchdowns total. And running back Elijah Mitchell finished the game with five carries for 55 yards and two touchdowns after returning from the injured list. 49ers will take on the Seahawks in Santa Clara next Saturday at 1.30 in the wild card round. Another close game Friday night at Golden 1 Center finished with an unfavorable outcome for the Sacramento Kings. Second one on the way. It is good. Two-point Laker lead. No timeouts for Sacramento. 3.6 to go the length of the floor. A two would tie it. And force overtime. A three could win it. They finally give the ball to Fox. Inbounds pass to Barnes. Right back to De'Aaron. Races, stops, launches from 40. Heel of the rim and out. Lakers got the win. 136 134. Well, what drama in this one. And the Lakers break the three game slide against the Kings. De'Aaron Fox finished the game with 34 points and nine assists. Kings look to get back in the win column tonight when the Magic visit the Golden 1 Center. Coverage begins at 5.30 with game night on Sacktown Sports. Those are your headlines. Back to the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. Waking you up with the best in local sports. They just make it interesting, you know? It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. On Sacktown Sports. Purdy back on third down and four screen out to McCaffrey. Blocked by Burford. Ten. Cuts back inside five. McCaffrey all the way to the goal line and in. Touchdown! San Francisco! McCaffrey goes in motion. Hand off Elijah Mitchell off the left side. Touchdown! 
San Francisco. Welcome back, Eli. McCaffrey runs the route in the middle. Purdy going to throw, and it is Kittle in the back of the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. What? Elijah Mitchell takes the left side. Elijah Mitchell's in the end zone again. Touchdown, San Francisco. I don't have all the weight of the world on my on my shoulders to you know make something up or plays. It's like it's like man, Kyle calls a great game plan. I just got to go through my progression, you know, throw checkdowns to guys like Debo and Christian, and then they make guys miss. In 2021, that would be last year. Everybody, the 49ers were three and five. They ended up going ten and seven, mm-hmm. and lost to the Rams in the NFC Championship game. More on that in a second. This year, they were three and four. They finished 13 and four Man. with their backup, backup quarterback. Now, the 49ers are the 13th team in NFL history in the Super Bowl era to finish the regular season on a 10 game win streak or more. Of those previous 12, Nine did not win the Super Bowl. Oh, wow. Okay. The last team to do that, the 03 Patriots. Mm. And then before that, the 76 Raiders and, of course, the 72 Dolphins. The only ones. Wow. Interesting. So they should have should probably have lost, lost yesterday. yesterday. Exactly. Um, I said more on that last year situation where they lost to the Rams. That was the third time they played the Rams. Mm-hmm. Now, the Rams are not, or, you know, that Rams team, which was the eventual Super Bowl winner, I'm going to go out on a limb here. I don't think the Seahawks will win the Super Bowl, uh, and I could be wrong, but I think most would agree. Yeah. But to beat a division rival three times in one year, they may just roll through Seattle. They should roll through. They should steamroll Seattle and beat them by double digits. But it's a division rival. It's Pete Carroll. It's the third time you're playing. Them. Right. That's a little bit dangerous, which is why I would have preferred the Packers. But that's not the way it is. It's Seattle. So here we go. Yeah. I mean, it's the reality of what they have. Uh, the playoffs should be difficult. I do think they'll beat Seattle, but doesn't mean uh, just show up and play. You're yeah. going to get them because there's so much information there. It's just there's it's just go across the league. It is hard to beat a division team. Anyway, you, you just talked about the Texans. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's not a good football team. They beat everyone in their division on their home field this year. That's right. So it is a difficult I'm task. I'm with your do. Wi-Fi, which means. And, um, but you have to like the way the Niners are playing and have played and the fact that now with that 10-game win streak, they have the best point differential in the NFL. They've been amazing. They really yes. have. They still have a great defense, but uh, got to put it together. There's a, there's kind of a, I want to say a narrative. But there is a question that's going around in NFL and NFL fan circles, and I want to run it by you. Okay. And it regard it's in regards to the 49ers. And it's basically saying they haven't really played anyone. Mm. Like, you have to play your schedule. Okay. But let's point to quality wins. The, the Seahawks, I guess, are okay. a playoff team. There's two there. The Chargers. Yeah, they're a playoff team. They beat them 22-16. Uh, they smoked the Dolphins. Mm-hmm. The Commanders. Mm-hmm. The Buccaneers. Okay, playoff, that's four playoff teams so that's they've defeated. Four playoff teams they've defeated. The idea, I think, there is that what's missing from that, and, and not like they're the people that say, well, the Niners actually really suck. They haven't played anyone. Get out of here with that. They obviously don't. But I, I I think maybe where a conversation is is that there's a little mystery mm-hmm. because there is no Buffalo. There is no Cincinnati. Uh, they did play Kansas City. And got ripped. Yeah. They got work. That was the first game with McCaffrey. So yes. they were kind of sorting that out. But if I asked people, like, tell me five teams in the NFL that you think are legit. The Niners would be one of them. You of can't, course. You can't play yourself. Of course. Another one would be the Chiefs. They played and lost to them. Yes. Bills aren't on their schedule. I think more of the teams are in the AFC, by the way. I agree with you. So then you go play a great NFC team, which would be them. 
the Eagles. Right. They didn't play the Eagles. They didn't play the Cowboys. Didn't play the Giants. If you want, what to are count we talking them. about? Like, like if they play the Giants somehow four times, like yeah, I'm just making right. it. You think they'd win at minimum three? What is that? Or are you saying those are great? Win- like, I don't think there's a lot of great teams no. in the NFC. I would say that you can make an argument that there are three: the Eagles, Cowboys, and Vikings. And and I know yeah. there's arguments well, there the too. the Niners, but they can't play themselves. Well, well I'm sorry. Yeah, I yeah. meant other than the Niners. And I'm only saying you're talking about 13 and 4, 14 and 3, and 12 and 5. I'm going by record. Right. I, I, I think we all agree that the, and we may get a chance to see it, the Niners would beat the Vikings. But th- there's a reason you play there. Right. It's just hard to see. Honest to goodness, I want, <laughs> I think it would be a wonderful story if the Bills made the Super Bowl mm-hmm. and if the Niners did not if the unless the Niners are playing the Bills I will root for Buffalo over anybody if they make the Super Bowl yeah um now is this because of Hamlin or even the Bills just never have won it would already have been because yeah. they've never won because in your lifetime in my lifetime we saw them make it four straight times uh they they had a long stretch of being bad they're a tiny mark I mean a tiny market um I I would Beyond the ham, the Hamlin thing is just like, oh my God, now it's a you know yeah. Disney story. But even without the Demar Hamlin tragedy, I, I would one hundred percent feel the same way. But in my heart of hearts, God, I want to see a Niners Chiefs rematch. I want to see a rematch of that Super Bowl a few mm-hmm. years ago. I want to see a rematch of that game this year. I, I, and I want both teams. And I want both teams to have a blank injury report. Yeah, well, that'd be ideal. Blank, right? Let's just see the and which what that would mean would mean that the Niners would be on a thirteen game winning streak going mm-hmm. into the Super Bowl. Yeah, and uh, the, well, the the Chiefs are at about six or seven. Aren't Chiefs they? have won five in a row five. right now. Uh, first round by did they get the bye? Yeah, yeah they got the bye. So uh, that would be one, seven. two, three. That'd be seven or eight. Wait, no, they only have like, they only have two. You're right. I'm sorry. So they, that's seven. Yeah, that. That I think is, I think on paper, that's your Super Bowl. Yeah. So I could see it. I really could. I think they're both capable. Yeah, but you know, it's going to be like the Vikings and the, oh, the, the Jags. The, the Bengals. Well, you know, the thing is, man, we got to talk a lot about the Bengals too. They're yeah. just sitting there winning ball mm-hmm. games as the defending AFC champion. Uh, we will take a break. When we come back, we've, let's see, what is it, 638? We've waited as long as we contractually can. And the powers that be are making us talk about Kings Lakers. And we'll tell you why this is going to keep happening if something doesn't change. We'll do that next. The only place you'll find Harrison Barnes is Sacktown Sports. He's got the bucket at the buzzer. Harrison Barnes. Hey, Sacramento, it's Harrison Barnes. And you're listening to the home of the Sacramento Kings, Sacktown Sports. You're Local sports leader. Folsom Lake Ford has trucks. The F 150s are here. Explorers, expeditions, and a huge selection of Broncos and Bronco sports. They're in stock now at Folsom Lake Ford. Shop Folsom Lake Ford, your truck headquarters, right here in Sacramento for your favorite Ford models at good, fair prices. Short on cash? Buy any new Ford with zero down. Save big with low interest finance rates. Plus, Folsom Lake Ford is paying top dollar for all trades. We want your vehicle regardless of mileage or condition. This could be the best time to buy a new Ford. Check out the huge inventory online at FolsomLakeFord.com or stop by the dealership and see the most recent arrivals. Looking for something special? Give them a call and tell them Doug Christie sent you. Folsom Lake Ford in the Folsom Auto Mall. Your trusted dealer, my trusted dealer for over 30 years. FolsomLakeFord.com. Zero down with approved credit. In this market, you'll find Fisher Investments is different than other money managers. Different how? Aren't we all just looking for the hottest stocks? Nope. We use diversified strategies to position our clients' portfolios for their long-term goals. You don't just provide cookie-cutter portfolios? No. We tailor our clients' portfolios to their goals and needs. But you still sell investments that generate high commissions for you, right? No, we don't sell commission-based products. We're a fiduciary, the highest standard of care for a financial advisor. It means we're obligated to act in our client's best interest. So when do you make more money? Only when your clients make more money? Yep. We have one transparent management fee structured, so we do better when our clients do better. Sounds like you really look out for your clients. We do, because our priority is helping them achieve a comfortable retirement. That might be why most of our clients come from other money managers. 
Visit FisherInvestments.com to find out why investors like you switch to us. Fisher Investments, clearly different money management. Investments in securities involve the risk of loss. Individual rates, coverage, offerings, and savings may vary, subject to terms and conditions not available in all areas. If you're a small business owner, listen up. Pi Insurance wants to give you one of those aha moments, the kind that could save you money. Workers' comp is probably one of the biggest costs you face. But did you know that insurance providers have flexibility in setting their prices? That's right. But many don't bother giving small businesses the savings you deserve. Instead, you can get lumped in with other businesses and overcharged. Pi Insurance was created to change that. With Pi, you get a quote tailored specifically to your business, and you could save up to 30% with no hassle and no hidden fees. Plus, when you sign up for pay as you go, billing. Your premium is based on your actual payroll, not an estimate. So your workers' comp audit experience is simplified. Take three minutes to see how much you could save with Pi Insurance. Ask your agent for Pi or go to trypie.com. That's T-R-Y-P-I-E.com. Golf to Go is brought to you by the Hagen Oaks Golf Super Shop. Here's Frank LaRosa. If you like to walk when you play, you're looking for a golf bag that's easy to carry. If you ride in a cart, you're looking for a bag with lots of storage area. Sun Mountain has come up with a bag that serves both masters. The Sun Mountain 4.5 LS 14-way stand bag is a lightweight, mid-sized bag weighing about 5 pounds. With their easy light dual strap system, it's built for carrying while incorporating cart-friendly features. The Sun Mountain 4.5 LS 14-way offers a cart strap pass-through which runs behind the clothing pocket so you can still get into the pockets while the bag is secured to the cart. The 14-way top refers to individual full-length club dividers that organize and protect your clubs. Nine pockets include a full-length clothing pocket, a hydration pocket, multiple accessory pockets, and a water-resistant velour line valuables pocket. With eight colorways available, you'll find one to fit your personality. I've met the designers of this Montana-based company, and they go to great lengths to design and construct products that work. Learn more at sunmountain.com. That's your golf to go. I'm Frank LaRosa. The only place in the morning to get your sports fix. Live and local. The Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. I'm going to say this a few times today, so if you're a three-hour listener, two things for you. A, thank you so much. We know you have many choices with your morning listen. Thanks so much for choosing Yes, the sports of Sacktown. Secondly, sorry if you have to hear this a couple times, but the consultants say that we get a, a big-time audience turnover like every five minutes or something. So you missed it earlier when we opened the show. If you don't have to drive, please do not drive. It is terrible out there. Now, it may not be terrible at 10 a.m. I don't know. I can only speak for right now and when I drove in, when you guys drove in. Sideways rain, pooling up on 80, crashes everywhere. Um, It is really, really bad. Now, listen, you got to do what you got to do. So only you know your own situation. But this is a perfect opportunity to work from home, uh, take a sick day, Whatever you can do to not go on that road, it's not worth it. It's right. just, it's absolutely uh, terrible out there, Jason Ross. Yes, I agree. So be safe. Okay. Well, it was uh, raining threes and stuff mm. from the, it was, Thomas Bryant was the storm that blew through Golden One Center Saturday night. Sure. Okay. Uh, yeah. He apparently, you know what sucks is I kept wanting to say, what is it? Are we ever going to be at a point like why is everybody with name Bryant with the Lakers absolutely destroy us? But then I, I was like, oh no, yeah. too soon. Right. But I don't believe there's a relation between Kobe and Thomas. Right. We all know what Kobe used to do to us all the time. Thomas Bryant comes in and turns into Wilt Chamberlain. Bryant has the rebound. Quickly ahead to Westbrook, back to Bryant, run on the floor, right to the rim, and he scores. Yeah, it wasn't just that. It was his jumpers and floaters. LeBron comes back quickly. He's defended by the Kings, Herter, and the Mitchell. Pass goes to Westbrook, wiggles into the paint, gives it up to Bryant. Baseline floater, up and in. Thomas Bryant shooting 67% this season. I'm going to play a three-play stretch here towards the end, and I'm going to follow up with a question, Jason. Okay. Here's De'Aaron Fox in the fourth quarter. Kings took a two-point lead. Here's LeBron. Ball knocked out of his hands. I think Harrison Barnes got a hand on it. Herter came up with it. Gives to Fox. Stutter step in the lane. Teardrop. He's got it. Score tied at 130. Two- Fans on their feet at Golden One Center as LeBron crosses the logo. Stands on the logo with the right-hand dribble. Now moves toward the left wing. Drives it hard right. Plants straightaway 18-footer. He 
He's got the deuce. Kings take the lead, 132-130. 32 for Fox. Fox advances. Shot clock off, 12 seconds to go. You know it's going to be De'Aaron. He drives, he shakes, he spins for the fall away. He's got the bucket. Score tied, 134-134. Okay, yep. so De'Aaron Fox is sublime. Yes, 17 in the fourth. Uh, again, just mm-hmm. another tremendous fourth quarter performance. Yes. He made those three in a row down the stretch, single-handedly brought these this team back, gave them the lead, and then in the end, um, I mean, tough shot. Yes. My question is, as ridiculous as this question sounds, because he's so amazing and there's nothing he... Darren Fox is doing nothing wrong. He's at a superstar level with stuff like this. My question, is that long-term the best thing for the team? Is it sustainable, or do other people need to at least step up? Do we need to have a Fox as a decoy situation that we throw in every once in a while? Is it too much to put on his shoulders, and is it too vulnerable to defenses collapsing? Um, I, well, no, I don't, I think he's fine. I think okay. he can handle it. I think he's shown it. I think, um, it's always better if you have more options and more ways to win, but I think we had a, saw a game here recently where Herter hits a, basically the dagger three. I, I think they have the ability to have other people do this, but I think, um, his ability to be a finisher has been pretty special. It's this year. really been special. Yeah. I mean, he, he go, he was already the best in the league clutch wise, mm-hmm. and he just continues to build on that ledge. And again, I can't stress enough. This isn't about, uh, <clears throat> De'Aaron Fox is shooting too much. It, no, it, it's nothing but positives and superlatives right. for De'Aaron's performance. Just my worry is that defenses will eventually be like, okay, we're going to quadruple team him and mm-hmm. do other people need to occasionally be in that situation. That's not what happened Saturday night. That's not why they lost Jason. They right. couldn't play defense. Right. Or they didn't play. Yeah, Coach Brown called him out. I think there's been regression here for, for several games. And really, it's in the paint. I mean, the mm-hmm. points in the paint that they are allowing is just absolutely killing him. I think the stat we had on Saturday night, the best shooting percentage game anybody's had against the Kings was Denver at 57.6%. The Lakers, that Laker team yeah. shot 61% on the Kings. And even with all of that, yeah, Sacramento nearly won. But, I mean, that, that's got to get better. That's a non-negotiable thing that... If you want to be a playoff team, you've just got to get better there. Yeah, you do. It's and just, the, the sad thing is, you know, they can't. They can't. They showed it earlier. And I, I still go back to, I wondered what you, when you watched the game, what you thought about the play right after that is the one where Schroeder is foul or that's yeah. called for foul on Fox. Yeah. Um, in real time, how fast that went, the decision that Coach Brown was grappling with, because everybody, including the star player, De'Aaron Fox, is saying, review it. Right. And I'm going, no, no, because you got to save the timeout. But I get when you've got the pressure of a coaching staff. I'm like, and he's got to decide. And you could tell he was like, I don't want to, but maybe I should because of, hey, if it's overturned. Yeah. But you got to win it. And then he was out of timeouts. He couldn't advance the ball. It just made, it was a really difficult decision. You have to, the, it, I like the way you put it because I empathize with Coach Brown. He wants to have his players back. So yeah. we know that. You've got to make a split second decision. Right there, yeah. right then and there, and at some point, when and and it, and it really kind of comes on the players too. Yeah, if if you're gonna look Mike Brown in the eyes, which is what I'm sure happened, and say review that yeah. it wasn't a foul, right? You're you're putting your coach in an impossible position, and you'd better be right. I don't blame Mike Brown. I don't for either. Trusting his players, I don't either. Because if De'Aaron Fox is telling you, Dave, like, look. Look at that. I'm going to trust him. Absolutely. And so to me, and listen, he's in the moment. Right. It's it's an emotional situation. I get that. But you'd better know. Yeah. You'd better know the situation if you're asking your coach to do that, knowing you're losing a timeout if you're wrong. And in that situation, that's the difference between inbound, handoff, two point, whatever seconds yeah. left, and you're at half court. Right. I think, and they put 3.6. And Fox is the old length of the court. Right. But let's say you're inbounding that side. Like, you can – Make two or three passes. Uh, exactly. Get a layup, go for three to the win. I mean, there were choices. Kind of what I was expecting too, especially I, I, you knew that it was going to be an inbound handoff when Fox was yeah. uh, uh, inbounding the ball. Little surprise though, they weren't looking for it. And by the way, the Lakers were spaced perfectly. Um, that there wasn't more than just De'Aaron dribbling down yeah. and stopping it, you know, mid court, damn near. Well, it was funny that you said you knew it was going to. I, I, I'm like, why is De'Aaron inbounding the ball? Yeah, like he's got to have because I'm like he's the one that can go, but I didn't. 
I think they were, I didn't think they were going to go right back to him. Let's let's also, you know, so far we've talked about the officiating. We've talked about um, we've talked about defense or lack thereof. We talked about De'Aaron Fox being clutch. Uh, we've talked about the inbound play. Yeah. The the key play, arguably, was the inbound that was lost that Schroeder oh, intercepted. Yeah, yeah. And we're all forgetting about right. that. There's about twenty something seconds left. And just to inbound the ball. You just gotta turnover. inbound the ball. Yeah. And 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 De'Aaron did what he, it was a huge it was a colossal mistake. It yeah. was a game perhaps game losing mistake. Right. And I I'm not hearing that brought up enough by everybody. Yeah, the refs made some bad calls. Yes, they did. Um honestly though, on the call meter, like had the Lakers loss, which I wouldn't care. Right. But the one they inbounded were honestly Mitchell fouled Westbrook earlier, but yeah. then when they blew the whistle is 100% continuation. He was 100% gathering. And I think that was a makeup for the fact that they didn't call, which you shouldn't do. Right. But the Kings got a little bit away with one there. That was big. That was, that was an and one, clearly. The but. Schroeder, the Schroeder foul with Fox. It was a tough call. By the letter of the law, yeah. it's a foul. Yeah. Also, 89 times out of 100 in that situation. If you're on TNT, if, yeah. you, if, you, if it's the Nets and the Celtics, you're not calling that. Right. And I hate that the NBA puts us in that position where it's like, well, yeah, it was a foul, but not really. Yeah. So the last two-minute report says, yeah, foul. Of course it will. Just yeah. like just like they did nothing wrong in the Hawks game. Either. Right. We'll take a break. Lots, lots, lots more. And, uh, again, we'll tell you why this is going to keep happening, by the way. Uh, despite the recent disappointments. Mm-hmm. Things aren't all that bad for Sacramento. We'll give you some perspective. And again, we'll tell you why this will keep happening if this doesn't change next. Check out the Golf to Go Hour with Frank LaRosa every week on Sacktown Sports. Get the latest on equipment, area courses, people who play the great game, and plenty of good conversations about golf. It's the Golf to Go Hour every week with Frank LaRosa on Sacktown Sports. Golf to Go is brought to you by the Hagen Oaks Golf Super Shop, America's most awarded golf facility. Nature Wood Home Furnishings, where it's all about choices and always about quality. And Safe Credit Union, let us put you first. Attorney CPA Joe Cordell. You hear the phrase a lot this time of year, happy holidays. But holidays are not always happy, particularly for guys grappling with a divorce that they didn't choose. These men need more than the help of a good lawyer. They need the hope and encouragement of a good friend. Contact Cordell and Cordell to schedule an appointment with one of our firm's Sacramento area attorneys, a partner men can count on. Online at CordellCordell.com, 500 Capital Mall, Suite 2060, Sacramento, California, 95814. Hey, it's Carmichael Dave. Happy holidays to all of you and my friends at American Energy have a present. They want to make sure you and your family are safe this winter with a $49 furnace tune-up to ensure your system is running safely and efficiently. Plus, if you're ready for a new one, get half off with American Energy's 50% off furnace special. When you purchase a whole home HVAC system, get your furnace half off. 0% financing, payment plan options available. There's no reason to keep putting off making your home safe, warm, and comfy for you and your family this holiday. American Energy's been serving Sacramento since 1981. They have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. And that is extremely important to me and should be important to you, supporting local business because local business supports you. 916-520-9990. That's 916-520-9990 or AmericanEnergyAir.com. AmericanEnergyAir.com, making you uncomfortable comfortable. This is Monster Jam! See the legendary Grave Digger and more. Tear up the dirt with massive stunts, all-out racing, and crazy skills. It's adrenaline-charged fun for the whole family. Let's hear it! Make some noise! Monster Jam, as big as it gets. Coming to Golden One Center January 27th through 29th. Opening night tickets start at $15. Brought to you by BKT Tires. Servicing your vehicle has never been so easy at Northern California's number one Honda dealer, Stockton Honda. Schedule your next service appointment anytime, anywhere at StocktonHonda.com. It only takes a minute to schedule and our award-winning service team will have you back on the road in no time. Oil changes, tires, parts, and more. Anytime, anywhere, it's all here. StocktonHonda.com. 
bonus days are back for pros at Lowe's. You earn points and save when you buy the top pro brands you trust, like DeWalt. Right now, you can save $100 on the powerful DeWalt 8 and a quarter inch carbide tip portable table saw. Was $399, now just $299. Join today and shop bonus days. Only at Lowe's. Bonus points calculated before taxes and fees after applicable discounts, if any. Bow to $120. Subject to change while supplies last. Visit Lowe's.com slash MVP's bonus points for details. Meet Joe A, Hi. Joe B, Hello. and Joe C. What's up? Three everyday Joes perfecting their banking with Chase. Joe A is locking his lost debit card with the Chase mobile app. Joe B is cruising toward his new ride with AutoSync. And Joe C's Chase banker is helping him budget to go back to school. Tools that help protect, support for what's next. One bank that puts you in control. Visit chase.com slash checking. Chase, make more of what's yours. Chase mobile app is available for select mobile devices. Messaging and data rates may apply. J.P. Morgan Chase Bank and a member of DIC. Are you scared to open your energy bill each month for fear of how much you might owe that month? Well, did you know that replacing or repairing your roof can have an immediate and drastic effect on not only your energy efficiency, but also saving you money each month? Hey, Jason Ross here, and I needed a new roof. And when I was researching companies and talking with friends, one company stood out as the premier company in our region, and that's ACR Solar and Home Services. I set up a meeting with John, the owner, and Joe, the roofing expert, and the office staff. Well, they were amazing. They worked with my schedule, set up an appointment to come out to the house, and walk me through how they could save us money and protect our home. If your roof is showing signs of wear and tear, and you think you might have a leak, or you simply want to save money on your energy bills, well, I encourage you to do what we did and research ACR Solar and Home Services. ACR Solar and Home Services, your Sacramento region's premier solar and roofing company dedicated to quality, value, and integrity since 1979. That's acrsolar.com. People of the world, I am Chef Wes Andres, and I'm here with an important message. I'm speaking to you from downtown Tucson. As tonight gets dark, people are going to go to their homes without electricity, without water, and very often without much food to eat. This winter is going to be brutal, not only for the people of Kherson, but for many, many Ukrainians all across Ukraine, but especially in the places that they've been recently liberated near the front lines. The people of Ukraine right now are fighting for freedom. We're here with a very simple ask. World Central Kitchen will be able to keep doing the work we've been doing over the last eight, nine months with your support, with your help together. I know we will not leave the people of Ukraine alone. This time check is brought to you by West Coast Men's Health Acoustic Wave Therapy. KHTK AMHD1 Sacramento, KYMX HD2 Sacramento. From the Power Business Technology Toshiba Studios. Your home for the Sacramento Kings. It's Sacktown Sports. Sacktown Sports. Headlines. With your Sacktown Sports headlines, I'm Jay Mars. The San Francisco 49ers clinched the number two seed in the NFC yesterday after a blowout win against the Cardinals. Play action and Purdy going to throw and it is caught by George Kittle again. Give him 11 on the year, two today. Touchdown, George Kittle. Brock Purdy finished the game with three total touchdowns. And coming back from injury, running back Elijah Mitchell finished the game with five carries for 55 yards and two touchdowns. The 49ers will take on the Seahawks in Santa Clara next Saturday at 1.30 in the wild card round. Another close game Friday night at Golden One Center finished with unfavorable outcome for the Sacramento Kings. Second one on the way. It is good. Two-point Laker lead. No timeouts for Sacramento. 3.6 to go the length of the floor. A two would tie it and force overtime. A three could win it. They finally give the ball to Fox. Inbounds pass to Barnes. Right back to De'Aaron. Races. Stops. Launches from 40. Heel of the ribbon out. Lakers get the win. 136-134. Well, what drama in this one. And the Lakers break the three-game slide against the Kings. Darren Fox finished the game with 34 points and nine assists. More on that game coming up next as we get to hour number two of the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. The Carmichael Dave Show. He's on the microphone when he's not on the microphone. He's playing a song, and when he's not playing a song, he's on the microphone. And then boom. With Jason Ross. Hey, Jay, hey, my headset's 
Call or text at 916-339-1140. It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross on Sacktown Sports. Kings lose 20 and 18. They're now 11 and 9 at home. That means in the last couple of weeks, they have lost at home to the Hornets, the Wizards, the Hawks, yep. the Lakers. Um, the Hawks and Lakers a little bit different. Let, listen, the Lakers have LeBron James and they're undefeated in 2023. I know it's a short sample yeah. size, but they are. And they're weird, you know, they're 19 and 21 all of a sudden. They're they're in there. We'll get to that in a second. The Hawks are a probable playoff team, I would say, even though they've got some disarray going on. You know, Charlotte and Washington are different. And if I'm not mistaken, were the Hawks on the second end of a back to back? Yes. They were. So all four of those losses. I believe. Oh, no, the Kings were the second night of a back-to-back. That's what I, I mean. The yeah. Hawks were not. No. Okay, so three of those four losses yeah. came to teams on the second night of a back Yeah, after being the last team, I think, to lose to a team below 500, uh, now they've lost quite a few to teams below 500. That's exactly right. Yeah. That is not a trend you want to see. So the question is, is that a Kings situation, or has the league maybe figured something out there? There's one thing that's very obvious that they've probably figured out, which is very simple. If I'm a coach and I'm playing the Kings, if I have any abilities down low, you know, I am I am absolutely going at DeMontis Sabonis for as many minutes as it mm-hmm. takes. And and you saw that in the very beginning of the season when, you know, the, the, the first two, three weeks of the season. Remember, I'm old enough to remember when it was like, hey, this guy's not great. Mm-hmm. Who is this guy? He can't not foul out. This isn't. And, and by the way, and I was one of the people saying this isn't sustainable defensively. Well, he's done very well and adjust. Yeah. I still don't think it's sustainable, though. I think it's been sustainable. But eventually, you've got a guy who has so much pressure on him on both ends of the yeah. floor. He is he is the center of your offense. He is the center of your defense. He is really your only interior presence. And he's not a shot blocker. He's not a goalie. And what you saw last night was it wasn't just that Domas fouled out, which hurt them down the stretch, yeah. obviously. It was that part of the reason why Bryant was so effective in the fourth is that Domas had to be careful with five fouls. Correct. He wasn't able to be as effective. And um, listen, Holmes got 11 minutes. Len didn't get in the game. Katie didn't get in the game. I, and no offense to Rashawn, who we love, mm-hmm. or anyone else, but for one reason or the other, Mike Brown is searching and searching, has not found something that works on the defensive end, big big man-wise. They've got him. And, and they grab what? P.J. Dozier, the guard. Uh, over the weekend, signed him. That that takes a Chima Monarchy spot. Um, I, they got to do something. I'm not disagreeing, but I'm not certain either. Okay. And, and I don't know who the player is. Obviously, I don't important. either. So let's let's just even pretend the player fits perfectly. Yeah, as backup big. Sure. I don't know what at what cost, and hopefully I'm not assuming the net gain. It has to be a net gain, mm-hmm. right, as opposed to, hey, we gave away a pretty valuable piece to the bench that may not win. I just think, let's say that plug and play is perfect. Yeah. Is that player playing 10 to 12 minutes? Because I think the majority of the, the problem is still, I'm not saying Sabonis, but it's, I'm going to put it Sabonis, Herder, Fox, Barnes, and Murray. Yeah. The five play the most minutes. And that group is the guiltiest party. I think that group has to all get better defensively. Yes. I'm not even, again, I'm not totally disagreeing with you, but yeah. I don't know that that's priority one because I think that would be a small piece of the puzzle that would help or sure. could help, but I think there's a bigger over overlaying issue here with the majority of the guys that play. You're just talking about defense in general? Yeah. So, I mean, Fox has to be better. Herder has to be better. Barnes, Murray, Sabonis. Right. And then, yeah, Monk. I mean, the main – Mitchell's fabulous. Yeah. Mitchell guards – well, he sometimes guards five people. <laughs> right. But um, if Lyles plays, if Holmes plays, if this new whoever big that they added they think is the secret sauce, great. But I think that player's playing 14 minutes. I agree with you. I agree with but you on, would help. on the minute stuff. And yeah. that's, I think we're circling the same thing. Yeah. I don't think that that is the alpha and omega of their right. defensive issues. But I also don't think you can go 82 games with no backup big. Yeah. Yeah. And they and they don't they don't effectively they they have guys that they'll throw in that are basically foul sponges. Right. And and you know, we have not seen with the exception of and the frustrating thing is when Sabonis was out against Denver, Rashawn was effective. Mm-hmm. He was the most effective he's probably ever been this year. Why can't he do that against basically a team's second team? Why yeah. can't he come in for Sabonis? The problem is is that 
it just changes the whole offensive dynamic yeah. when Sabonis is off the floor. Yeah, and there's some players, and I don't think Rashawn started this way in his career, that need to be like volume guys. Like Terrence Davis again played the other night. Barely. Right. And I feel like he's a volume guy. And when Malik Monk was out, I was kind of excited. I'm like, okay, this might be a night for Terrence Davis. And if he gets four minutes of run, I, you don't learn anything. No. I think he needs to play 16, 18, and take eight shots. And you go, wow, the three was going. He hit six of eight. What a difference. Or, okay, he made one of eight. And it just it wasn't tonight. Mm. There's a few guys that are volume guys. I didn't think, like, Rashawn was at not necessarily volume shots. Sure. But volume minutes. And if Rashawn's getting three minutes and then three minutes, all right, he might get two rebounds, two rebounds, and maybe a bucket, and you go, well, he had two points and four boards. And hmm. But do we need that backup big? Do we really need it? Do we need offense out of that backup big, I guess? Not I mean, necessarily, but that's but you get so much of that from Sabonis. Sure. And really, it's not even just the offense. He's a one-man fast break. He pushes the floor. I mean, he yeah, he dictates so much of what they he's do. He's irreplaceable. He really Unless is. you have Nicole Jokic, who's right. a free agent. Let's get him. Yeah, let's just grab him. And put him off the bench. What a weapon. I give You know what? Maybe uh, Davion and a second rounder. Yeah. And we'll play in like 10 minutes. Yeah, that's fine. Just fine. And, and, you know, I was saying earlier this year, and everyone calm down. Uh, let me finish here before you start freaking out and typing. You know, I brought up like, well, DeMarcus is out there. There's yeah. a big, there's a big that's familiar right. in the city. That would be a fun story. Comes back. He certainly was, you know, effective in spurts last year. Could he come in for... That sounds like that would be perfect for him, 10, 11 minutes. And I had I had Katie on the post-game show uh, Saturday, and, and I thought she brought up a really good point, which is she agrees that DeMarcus could probably come here and in, in a perfect world be a very effective backup mm-hmm. to Sabonis offensively. Doing, you know, he He's a gifted passer. Uh, obviously, he's a gifted scorer. And maybe in 8, 10, 12-minute bursts, he'd be fine. But I agree with her very much on this. That's not going to solve the defensive issue. Right. DeMarcus isn't exactly a defensive stopper or exactly. a or a shot blocker. Yeah. He just doesn't have the even when he had the lateral quickness. Right. He wasn't uh, a defensive stopper. So again, I go back to a name I brought up earlier this year, and I think this is where I I I, I think this is where Monty's going to have to look unless he's got unless he identifies a team that going into the trade deadline, which will happen. They're like, eh, when Benyama. We're, we're, we're going to move on some people and you have the opportunity. And I think that's kind of what he's waiting for. You have the opportunity to grab a gifted big for maybe a discount price. If you're looking at availability right now, I mentioned JaVale McGee earlier mm-hmm. this year, mm-hmm. and there's a team coming in here tonight with Mo Bamba. Mm. Just, just listen, Bo Bowl has, has really supplanted him and then yeah. bowl has been out lately, but even with bowl out, he did, they beat the warriors in, in San Francisco. Yeah. By a large margin, Clay and Steph were out, but that's the game they're coming off of. And Mo Bamba's just sitting there. Yeah. I don't know that he would solve anything. Right. But I think he instantly becomes perhaps our most gifted big man defensively to yeah. back up Sabonis. Yeah, it's interesting. I think the two best defensive players right now, would you agree, are Mitchell and probably Akpala? I, no, I, I 100% agree with that. And at, at times they'll play that group and you go, it's helping ish. You know, right. I just feel like they're, they're not scheme. Like they, they need to get back to that. And, and, and the other night, this is what a tendency I think this team does. The Lakers weren't guarding the Kings either. I mean, the Kings are scoring with ease. And I feel like their defense slips even more on those nights. It's like, well, at some point, we'll just outscore them. Like, yeah, the Lakers are scoring, but so are we. We're just right there with them. Like right. the Lakers are setting all sorts of offensive numbers. And again, the Kings could have won the game. And that would have been great. We'd have all accepted it, but you go, there's still a problem here. You're still not guarding effectively. Do you believe you watch every game? Mm-hmm. You're at every game. You're doing pre-half post and the occasional play-by-play. You've seen as much Kings as anyone in the world. Do you believe they have the talent and ability to be a significantly better defensive team as the roster stands? Um, significantly better is probably too far, but I've significant- seen improvement. I think there's been stretches or there's been fourth quarters or five minutes where you, and even you said in the last game, well, that's a good, like, I think we've seen more of that, but I would yes. say in the last two weeks, I'm no calling the Atlanta game, like straight line drive right to the basket, mm-hmm. right by and like, but this hasn't been happening as much, but lately I think, it, I think they've slipped. When I say significant, I'd say five, six, seven more spots. In the defensive range. Yes, I think they're capable of that. I do. I agree. Offense is more fun than defense. It is. It's more fun to do. And their offense is pretty special. Their offense is special. This is where Mike Brown's going to earn his money. Mm-hmm. 
I'm not blaming Mike Brown, but Mike Brown is your defensive captain. And this is where he's got to, and, and you saw a little bit of it in his post-game comment Saturday. He's got to lock in and say, guys, until you learn that our offense starts with our defense, we're going to be an outlier. We might make the play in. Maybe we're going to win 40, 42 games. Yeah. But the difference between 42 games, a 500-ish team, and a 50, 55 win team, yep. it starts with your defense. Yeah, absolutely. They have to commit to it. Yeah, and he had a really good comment pregame the other day. He's like, look, I know people talk about rim protection and bigs in the middle, and you know that's something we just addressed here. He goes, look, when I, with the Warrior, I'm just going to look at our – he goes, Looney's not very big. And he goes, right. Draymond's going to call me out for this, but he's like 6'6". Six, six. Yeah. So they figured out collectively without some, you know, a Lajuan in the paint that they could still defend. That's pride and scheme. Mm -hmm. That's pride and scheme and, and obviously talent as well. All right. As the Aaron Rodgers turn, it's the end mm -hmm. of another NFL season. So what's going to happen with him? We've got big NFL turnarounds. And are you going for the repeat or the Cinderella tonight in college football? We'll do a lot of football next. The only place you'll find Kevin Herter is Sacktown Sports. Herter's open, steps into three. He's got the triple. Hey, Sacramento, it's Kevin Herter, and you're listening to the home of the Sacramento Kings, Sacktown Sports. Your local sports leader. ATM Mortgage. Hi, this is Jeff Tarbell with a very unique program for homeowners over 55 years old. How would you like to cut your house payment in half and maybe get some cash out too? Give ATM Mortgage a call. 916-338-9400, 338-9400, or online at atmmortgage.net. ATM Mortgage. License under California CFL and MLS 223 4889 Are you ready? Bonus days are back for pros at Lowe's. You earn points and save when you buy the top pro brands you trust, like DeWalt. Right now, you can save $100 on the powerful DeWalt 8 and a quarter inch carbide tip portable table saw. Was $399, now just $299. Join today and shop bonus days only at Lowe's. Bonus points calculated before taxes and fees after applicable discounts, if any. About to 120. Subject to change while supplies last. Visit Lowe's.com slash MVP's bonus points for details. Three questions, three answers. It's three for madness on the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. Here's question one. All right, Matt Barrows will join us at 8 o'clock. We'll talk Niners. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. <laughs> 8 o'clock. Uh, 8 o'clock. And uh, not only will we talk Niners, we'll talk about his unprecedented access behind the scenes be able to hang out in the locker room for an article the other day. Also, at some point today, guys, maybe in uh, maybe in the 744 segment, since Frankie doesn't want to come on the show today, apparently. Mm -hmm. Frankie was scheduled. Yeah. What, is he tired? Is that what? I don't know what it is. I don't even know Frankie. why. Frankie. His fence caved in. Oh, my entire backyard is a mass of tangled and, and terrible electronics. But Yeah, hey, uh, by the way, if you need a TV, I doubt it works at this point, but uh, there's backyard... <laughs> Three TVs. Gone. Gone. One of them is in the pool. Really? You didn't go fish it out? Oh, you put a TV in your pool. That's brilliant. So awesome. <laughs> That's you just brilliant. Sit there, play video games underwater. <laughs> put, the, put the controllers in a Ziploc yeah. bag. Uh, maybe in the Frankie segment, the formerly Frankie <laughs> segment, uh, we need to talk about LeBron James and our own Sam Amick. Because that was kind of fun oh, to watch. LeBron, over. yeah, called Sam out last night. Well, a little night. bit. I don't, see, I don't know. Ah, I, 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 I felt like it. So Sam got an exclusive with, with Le, LeBron Saturday. And then LeBron was tweeting at Sam uh, Sunday morning. And uh, I don't know. I, was, I can't help it. I was like, hey, Sam, he, LeBron's talking to you. And I don't know why I should say that. He's a national reporter, but yeah. it was still kind of cool. Because it's LeBron. And that's LeBron, cool. yeah. I'd love to be called out by LeBron. I would not. Why? Because your mentions would just be horrible. Hmm. That happens to you anyways. No, that's a good point. Three Did you know that his first game was here? Sam's? Shut up. Yes. <laughs> yes, it was. Question one. So was Dave's, apparently. <laughs> Do you think Aaron Rodgers played his last game for the Packers last night? I call this, this is uh, very much the uh, Chuck Liddell corollary I've talked about before, where I bet against Chuck Liddell a lot, and then I made the decision to stop betting against Chuck Liddell until he lost because he kept surprising me. I'm going to do the same thing. It should be. This should be his last game. What, retirement? No, I think he ought to move on and 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 and, and figure a way out of there and, and go to a team that needs somebody. They they have greatly – I mean, look, it's, it is super fun to dunk on Aaron Rodgers. I enjoy dunking on yeah. Aaron Rodgers. I really do. It's fun. It's fun. It's a sport. The fact that the Packers were a win away from the playoffs with that group of receivers, no offense to Alan Lazard and Romeo Dobbs and – 
Watson, what, whatever his name was. The, yeah. the fact of the matter is, is that the Packers have played the same or a very similar playbook with Aaron Rodgers that the Patriots did with Tom Brady, which is invest in your lines as much as you can keep the skill positions to a minimum, get yourself a, a, a running back by committee that can bruise it up and see what happens. And more often than not, it's work. I, all I'm saying is this from a football standpoint, screw whether or not Aaron Rodgers is a wackadoodle. Hmm. I would love I you I'm not saying he should come to the Niners because I wouldn't you love to see what Aaron Rodgers could do in a Niner offense, a Chiefs offense? Hell, sure. wouldn't you like to see what you can do in a Dolphins offense? Uh, put Aaron Rodgers in a spot at his age where he's got a real offense around him, I it would be a blast. But I mean he's one year removed from being a two time MVP in a row. I, I mean, it's just crazy. He's and then, phenomenal. I just get a little tired of his game. Like hundred percent commit to it. Or or retire or say no, I'm leaving. Like it's just right. we're gonna go through this again in another offseason. I'm gonna say he's gonna stay as a Packer, but I just agree because they're signed him and yeah. they si- but I'm with you. I'm I'm he's staying a Packer until otherwise. Yeah, just keep dunking on him. Just keep dunking on Aaron yeah. Rodgers. Number two. Question two. All right, this is the most important question we're asking today. Mm-hmm. That's a really bad tea. Sorry. Yeah. More impressive 2021 NFL three win team turnaround. The Jags going from three wins to nine or the Lions going from three wins to nine in 2022? I think the Lions. I love the way they played last night. Way to go for it. Way to go. I, I, I think their they're coaching staff, top to bottom, and there's a little bit of a hard knocks bias here. I won't, I won't lie. But I, I think they really have this awesome spirit in their locker room that starts with the coaches. I think Jamal Williams is a phenomenal personality, as is Amon Ross St. Brown. I, I I think going into this year, if I just said, hey, um, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm going to give you two scenarios. The Lions are uh, going to go into week 18 with their uh, playoff hopes still alive, or Dan Campbell will get fired midseason. Mm-hmm. I think we all take Dan Campbell gets fired midseason. Right. But they have, this is what, what good coaching and camaraderie and a great locker room, along with some talent. I mean, you have the Rams cast off and Jared Goff. Um, they drafted St. Brown. They've got a bunch of young guys there. They traded TJ Hawkinson. Um, and Aiden Hutchinson out of Michigan looks like a fan. I mean, this is a, a Bosa-esque style pick right there so far. Um, n- nothing against the Jags, but the Jags drafted a franchise quarterback about right. three, three years ago. They've added talent around him, taking nothing away from them. Travis Etienne, some of those receivers, that defense. They got out of that Urban Meyer stink. Got out of the Urban Meyer stink. And uh, I I think it's great what they've done. I'm just a little more impressed with the Lions. I'm with you. I think the Lions is the answer. Jags, impressive. But I think that division left it wide open. I mean, Texans, Colts, Titans really fizzled at the end. Um, But good stories both ways. But I I just love the way the Lions played last night and had, had Seattle lost earlier in the day. Then that game would have meant winner is in, and I, I just – they still played like it mattered, and they enjoyed it, and they celebrated at the end. I'm like, good for the Lions. I, I thought that was a great story. Also, flex the stinking schedule and 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 move that Lions game up so they're all mm-hmm. together. I hate, yeah. the, I, I hate that they knew their fate going in, and yeah. God bless them for winning anyways, and that kind of makes the point. Right. But, you know, put some turdy game last. Yes. You know, don't, don't, don't do that. That's goofy. All right, question three. Question three. All right, TCU, Georgia, TCU national title. Too. Yeah. Who wins? I'm excited for this game because it's a national championship. Yes. And I love college football. Awesome. Um, with apologies to my cousin David, who is a uh, Athens grad out there in uh, Georgia, you already got your national championship. I'm not going to, you know, I said TCU is kind of a Cinderella. They've, they've earned their spot, but no one had TCU in them. We don't think of Texas Christian when we think of football powerhouses, although that program has really turned it around. Head says this is going to be a comfortable Georgia win, mm-hmm. and it almost certainly will be a comfortable Georgia win. But I'll tell you right now, my heart is is going for the, the Horned Frogs. Yeah, absolutely. I think Georgia wins. I think they might win comfortably too. Um, I also did say, though, I thought Michigan would steamroll TCU, and then you watch the game and you go, well, Michigan missed a couple fourth downs. They had turnovers. Like a lot of things had to happen for TCU, but they did. And that's it's one game, it's one night. Um, I hope they can pull off some magic here. But Georgia's been the best team all year. I just think Georgia prevails. TCU, one loss on the year. That's number 10, Kansas State by 3, 31, 28. So you have a 12 and 1 TCU team 
against a 13 or excuse me, 13 and one TCU team against a 14 and 0 Georgia mm. team. This is the national championship. This is one versus three. What do you have? You seen the, the I haven't. What do you think the line is? Jason? One versus three, 14, no, 11 and a half. Jason, that is absolutely well done. 12 and a half. Okay. But absolutely. I didn't think it would be quite two scores, but more than a touchdown. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot that's for a tough. one versus three and a one loss team. I mean, Vegas knows what they're doing. But, yeah. you know, we've seen stuff like this before. It's obviously not the same thing. I mean, it's a California team, a Texas team. But, you know, I, I we've seen silliness happen in the national championship. And I always go back to Vince Young in mm-hmm. Texas and uh, and that unbeatable, unstoppable USC team. That, that was a great night. <laughs> did you did you enjoy that? I truth be told, yeah. I literally did after Vince Young scored in my living room. I did the kick worm. You did hundred yeah. percent. I did that. I know you believe that. I did. I actually, I've seen you do it. Yeah, just on my stomach. I've just seen you do it. Kick worm. I was, I was very happy that night. I'd have to go back and look. I mean, obviously, I'm biased. Florida State uh, Auburn national championship when FSU came back. That was true. That might be the most entertaining national championship. A lot of people say it's one of the greatest games ever. It I mean, really it was, it was, was a great game. That was a Vince Young game. Yes. Uh, it was, and 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 Reggie Bush in my lifetime, Reggie USC Reggie Bush was the most unstoppable college so back I've ever seen. So dumb. I've seen Marshall Falk. And they had uh Lindale White yes. who was like the other side. Yes. And just like you couldn't stop him either. Who had a who had a great NFL career. Uh and you go Reggie, who who was like uh Ladanian Tomlinson had a baby with Marshall Falk, and then you have Lendale White just busting yeah. in there. It's a little wow. thunder and lightning, huh? No, no love for Matt Liner, no. Oh, he was there. He was fine. Yeah. Nobody he, threw an alley oop quite like Matt Liner. Yeah. That really translated well in the NFL. Who was their big receiver? Mike Williams. Thank you. Was it Mike Williams on that team? Was it Mike Williams? All of a sudden, no, my alarm's going off. All right, we'll have to look the uh, roster up during the break. Well, I mean, we're also talking. How long ago was that? 25? 20 years. Oh, I thought it was all long time. Now. Golly gee oh willikers. Uh, the Kings are right back at it against Orlando tonight. Golden one center. Will this be another buzzer beater situation mm. for Sacramento? And uh, we'll get into the struggles for the Kings as well. We'll do that next. The only place you'll find King and Murray is Sacktown Sports. Out to King and Murray. Straight away for three. And Keegan knocks down the triple. Hey, Sacramento. It's Keegan Murray. And you're listening to the home of Sacramento Kings. Sacktown Sports. Your local sports leader. Sacramento weather is brought to you by Bonnie. I'm Eileen Javor in the KCRA 3 West. Weather Center, stormy start to our Monday. Strong winds this morning, gusting about 40 to even 50 miles per hour. We'll see periods of rain. The rain and the wind, though, will taper later this morning. Get the latest forecast on the KCRA 3 News and the KCRA 3 app. When it comes to your sewer, what goes down must come out. Get a detailed video inspection absolutely free with any sewer drain cleaning and keep life flowing in the right direction. Plumbing, sewer, electrical, heating, and air, Bonnie.com. Hey, it's Carmichael Dave. You've heard me talk with my friend Shelby about real estate for a long, long time. You know what Shelby's main goal? He just wants to help you save money no matter how. So what is Shelby doing right now with the real estate market all over the place? He's pivoting. Solarwithshelby.com. And you might be saying like, oh God, solar. Uh." No, listen. Shelby's got it dialed in, especially if you're a PG&E customer. He can save you 30 to 50% off your bill, 30% federal tax credit, dollar for dollar. It comes back in cash. Protect yourself from inflation. These these numbers could be going up and up and up. 100% financing. Yeah, they've got it. Nothing down, 30% tax credit, 25-year guarantee. What more do you need? Go to solarwithshelby.com. That's what you need. You need solar. Solar with Shelby.com. Save yourself some money today and tell them Carmichael Dave sent you. Hi, this is Joe Cordell with the law firm Cordell and Cordell. When the prospect of divorce becomes a reality, you need a partner that you can count on. If you're a man in this situation, consider contacting Cordell and Cordell. We've helped men navigate complex legal matters for 30 years. Contact Cordell and Cordell to schedule an appointment with one of our firm's Sacramento area attorneys, a partner men can count on. 500 Capital Mall, Suite 2060, Sacramento, California, 95814. Online at CordellCordell.com. What's for dinner? Burgers? After last week? No thanks. Avoiding foods due to fear of diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools? It may not be just stomach issues. It could be EPI, or exocrine pancreatic insufficiency. 
EPI can cause uncomfortable symptoms because it's a condition where the pancreas doesn't release enough digestive enzymes to break down food. But EPI can be managed. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor about your symptoms. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by Abby. I'm in the great outdoors doing a little dodge watching with Vince Bloom, the big guy at Lasher's Elk Grove Dodge. Would you look at that? You know, those are some pretty high-powered binoculars you got there, Vince. Yeah, I use them to spot all the Lasher license plates out there. Well, there's bound to be a lot because, I mean, you are the big guy after all, and the big guy's known for making great deals on new Ram 1500 Bighorns and Longhorns, Tradesmen and Laramies, Crew Cabs and Quad Cabs, 4x4s and 4x2s. I know. Hold on. I see another one. Another what? Looked like it might have been a new Dodge Challenger. I think so. Or a new Dodge Charger. Elk Grove Dodge sells a ton of those, you know. And new Durangos, Chrysler Pacificas, Jeep Cherokees, and the new Grand Cherokee, Jeep Compass, Gladiators, and Wranglers, and the all-new Wagoneer. I've heard Elk Grove Dodge has great deals on those, too. Oh, he's taking off. Oh, I'm sorry. You lose him? Oh, no. Just another happy customer migrating back to Elk Grove Dodge. No surprise there, because for over 40 years, the name Lasher means a great deal. Only a Lasher's Elk Grove Dodge. The Elk Grove bought them all and online at ElkGroveDodge.com. This time check is brought to you by West Coast Men's Health Acoustic Wave Therapy. Sacktown Sports. Headlines. With your Sacktown Sports headlines, I'm Jay Mars. The 49ers clinched the number two seed in the NFC yesterday after a blowout win against the Cardinals. Play action, and Purdy going to throw, and it is caught by George Kittle again. Give him 11 on the year, two today. Touchdown! George Kittle! Brock Purdy finished the game with three total touchdowns, and running back Elijah Mitchell finished the game with five carries for 55 yards and two touchdowns in his first game back off the injured list. The 49ers will take on the Seahawks in Santa Clara next Saturday at 1.30 in the Wild Card round. Another close game Friday night at Golden 1 Center finished with unfate within unfavorable outcome for the Kings. Second one on the way. It is good. Two-point Laker lead. No timeouts for Sacramento. 3.6 to go the length of the floor. A two would tie it and force overtime. A three could win it. They finally give the ball to Fox. Inbounds pass to Barnes. Right back to De'Aaron. Races, stops, launches from 40. Heel of the ribbon out. Lakers get the win. 136-134. Well, what drama in this one. And the Lakers... Break the three-game slide against the Kings. Darren Fox finishes the game with 34 points and nine assists. The Kings look to get back in the win column tonight when the Magic visit the Golden One Center. Coverage begins at 5:30 with game night on Sacktown Sports. Those are your headlines. Back to the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. Carmichael Dave. He has very good sources, and he, he just kind of tells it as it is and gets to the point. Jason Ross. He has a lot of pretty smart things to, to say. He's good at what he does on Sacktown Sports. Ready now for the second one. Wastes absolutely no time, and he hits them both. It's 123-121, 11.7 to go. Inbounds to Monk. He's squeezed in the corner, and the Kings turn it over. Two-hand flush thrown down by Chuma OKK. And a ball that skipped off their hands on the inbounds. Fox comes up the floor, two seconds. Here's a 35-footer for the win. He's got the bucket in an unbelievable finish in overtime. De'Aaron Fox from well over 30 feet straight away after the Kings had turned it over on a two-man squeeze in the corner. OKK took the ball to the rim for the flush to tie the score. And then De'Aaron Fox, no timeouts available. And Fox, in his return to action, hits a game-winning buzzer-beating three. Your final score, 126-123. Oh, my goodness, what drama for both of these clubs in the final seconds of overtime. Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. That was, that was at, at the time the Kings were, uh, what, two and five? They'd come off that dumb loss to Tyler Hero and the oh, refs. Yeah. The controversial one. Yeah, and uh, they win 126-123. Yeah, it was a wild game. They were getting killed by the size of Orlando down big, rallied back, and then certainly Fox saved the best for last. Yeah, and uh, I would like that to happen tonight. Except, yes. Except, except instead of a fox buzzer beater, like a fox holds the ball and the Kings win by thirty four. Well, they're about due for something like that. If you think about the last, Dave, I think it's six of the last seven have been decided basically in the closing minutes or seconds, yeah. even. 
Um, two point loss, three point loss, two point win, ten point loss. That's one Memphis, point, right? One Memphis. Yeah. One point win, one point win, and then you go back to Denver, seven point loss, and then. But even that Denver game, yeah. I just remember the Kings were up twenty, and then it came kind of still down to the end. So, you know, and the other thing too is that so you had the start of this home stand with Charlotte after that six game road trip. They go three and three. They're not three and five in their last eight. Yeah, home. and I want to, oh at home again. I want to say they're ten and eleven overall last twenty one. So they've just been kind of yeah floundering here a little bit and if you'd have told me which oh by the way you did tell me that they were going to get charlotte the lakers the wizards a couple of denvers a utah and atlanta and another laker at home i certainly wouldn't have said oh okay they're going to lose eight of 14 or six right. or eight or whatever it is. right that's the thing it's it feels like some missed opportunities and tonight's another one i mean orlando won the other night yes. san francisco good win they clearly could have beat the kings the first time but you know, Sacramento's just got to start playing better and look more like the team that was, you know, has been, what, four over 500, like six times and can never get to that five games over 500. If they win out on the rest of this homestand, right. they get to five over 500. But they just got to they got to start playing better collectively, defensively, protecting that paint. And offense has been good, um, but it's been the defense. Well, and, and I guess really, which, you know, here's here's kind of a throwaway question, but it's something to think about. Is this Sacramento Kings team closer to the team that beat Cleveland twice? Or is what we saw against Atlanta and the Lakers, is that the Sacramento team? Yeah, I mean, but again, like, how fragile is that? One, if Fox doesn't get picked, do they win? If Fox or they finish the Lakers, I mean, that's how tight it was. But then, hey, look, you got to win. We're marking in the shot still in his hand. Yeah. Um, Herder hits a game-winning three. They've, they've been – they're starting to even out on that, and they're closer to a 500 team. And if you really look at the West, man – Teams, what, three through eight, I think, are on a 19-game losing streak. Yeah, they're still in, and by the way, to your point, the Sacramento Kings' last three wins have come by a combined four points. Yeah, the other team had a shot to win they, at the buzzer. They are <laughs> they are those two points away, or should I say, uh, what did I say, one, two, uh, three, four. They are four points away from being in the middle right now of an eight game losing streak. Mm -hmm. The only thing separating them is really three kind of fortunate victories. Yeah. You think about it. Jokic had a shot to win. It missed. Missed. Markin in here had a shot. That was really well defended. Yes. And then he technically made the yeah. one in Utah, but it didn't count. They won that game by a tenth of a second. Yeah. And to your point about Jokic, let's not forget, you're talking about the two-time reigning MVP. That really kind of missed him. It wasn't an easy shot, but yeah. I think he makes that shot seven yeah. out of ten times. He had De'Aaron switch on the shot over him. Like He can make that easily. It's a very makeable shot. Yeah. So they're really hanging by the uh, string of their string wait hanging by the seat of the pants sure i don't know uh and to your point all this is happening they've lost two in a row they've lost six of ten. Oh, they have a one game lead in the pacific mm -hmm. your first place sacramento kings still in does, fifth does that matter by the way no it doesn't matter no. why so why do we have divisions i don't understand that anymore with the nba i always said that either highlight that more and make it a big deal or just eliminate it there, nobody cares. Right. I mean, we I kind of care just because it's nice to say first place, but I get it's like a funny care. Like yeah. I get that it doesn't matter. Uh, the Kings currently are the five seed. The Kings yeah. currently are just a game and a half out of hosting a playoff game, and they're five and a half out of the one. Now, granted, the Nuggets and Grizzlies are trying to separate a little bit. Yeah. New Orleans is in trouble. Right. New Orleans is floundering. Phoenix, I think, has lost oh, six God. in a row and nine of ten. The Clippers have lost six in a row. Phoenix. Um, and when we used to say, I think this was a common thing said, and I've been arguing against this for about two seasons now when people go, well, the West is just so tough. It's not. Yeah. Look at the, it, look at the opening for the Kings. Is it five teams above 500? That's it. Uh -huh. And the Kings are one of them, just two games above. I mean, they've left the door open for the Lakers. You think about the swing the other day. If the Kings beat the Lakers, you push them four back of you. Um, you won the season series instead. Now the Lakers have hope. I mean, they've been hot here. Um, a bunch of teams are below 500. It's not like the Kings have to play out of this world to get in. The West is leaving the door open for them. Is the West not great or as great as it has been? Or is the West really, really good when they play each other? I, I'd, I'd be very curious, I guess I'm saying, to see West versus East Conference. Yes. Yeah. Especially in the top ten, I know what you're getting at, but I, like, who's four through? Well, okay, you got the Kings at five. I would say people would say they're okay. 
So, so the Kings, just for funsies, the Kings are 11 and 9 against the East. That doesn't really tell us anything. Okay. Uh, the Clippers are 10 and 8 against yeah. the East. That doesn't really tell us anything. The Warriors are 20 and 20, but have the worst road record in the league. That's uh, Phoenix now is below 500. Minnesota below 500. Portland below 500. Those are all in the top 10. And then the Lakers, too, below. It's just Utah, who was once 10 and 3. Has now gone ten and twenty since. Here's an anomaly with Phoenix, by the way. They're seven and zero in their division, and the Phoenix Suns. To your point about the East, the Phoenix Suns are three and eleven against the Oof. Eastern Conference. They're twenty. They're seventeen and ten against the West. Yeah, they're three and eleven versus the East. That's that's rough acting to act. Hmm. I, I feel bad for the Pelicans because I, I, I've kind of adopted them as yeah. my second team. I, I love the story. But that was the whole thing. If they can stay healthy, right? They are not healthy. Yeah, they two are, of their all stars are out. Two of their all stars are out. I think when they're healthy, they have a really good. They have a really good case as the best team in the West. Mm-hmm. It's them. It's Denver. It's Phoenix. Memphis. Memphis. Yeah. Yeah. And it's funny. Both uh, the Nuggets and Grizzlies are twenty six and thirteen. They're tied at the top. Yeah. They're both sixteen and three at home. Mm. They're both ten and ten on the road. And really, honestly, the Grizzlies have won six in a row. They're red hot. You know the second. You know that's the uh, second longest winning streak in the West, and I believe, yeah, you know that's the second longest winning streak in the NBA, behind Memphis at six. Lakers. The Lakers have yeah. won five in a row. Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. I know. I want to give. I want to make that the excuse. Well, and the the thing for the Lakers too. At least they know, and New Orleans and some of these other teams, Phoenix, they know that great players are still coming back. Anthony Davis, Booker, yeah. Zion, yeah, um, Ingram, yeah, Kings have everybody. They and they have, and I, I haven't looked at the numbers, but I'm pretty sure they're the same. I know before the Sabonis injury, it was like two days before, because I remember the jinxiness of it. <laughs> uh, they were the healthiest team in the NBA by a long shot, right? They still have to be, if sure, not more healthy. They, they have to extend. Like when you talk about luck, yeah, they've been very, very lucky. On that front, uh, who is it? Earl says Phoenix is one injury away from being done. <laughs> I mean, Phoenix has been injured. Yeah, they're they're they also don't look right collectively anyway. I just think the whole off season with Aiton Williams, the way they lost, like it's just the yeah. Aiton thing, the yeah. Aiton thing in Phoenix, and the Draymond thing in Golden State. Yeah. It seems like they those just don't st- go away because I'm not buying that Phoenix and Golden State are crappy teams. Right, I'm not buying it. Yeah, it's not. That's not. I ain't buying it, kiddos. We'll take a break. When we come back, well, it was going to be Frankie. Hmm. Who do you want to do in this segment? I have a question I want to pose to the both of you regarding our Sacramento Kings and a potential roster addition that we uh, flirted with earlier in the year. I think you know where I'm going with this. Uh, are you talking about my... No! Shh. Find out next. Right back, Sacktown Sports. The only place you'll find De'Aaron Fox is Sacktown Sports. Spins away from the defender in the paint. Soft loader. That's a great play by De'Aaron Fox. Hey, Sacramento. It's De'Aaron Fox, and you're listening to the home of the Sacramento Kings, Sacktown Sports. Your local sports leader. Northern California's number one Honda dealer, Stockton Honda, is also Northern California's number one Honda certified pre-owned vehicle dealer. Come see our amazing selection of quality pre-owned vehicles. We have something for everyone. Don't shop dealer to dealer trying to find the perfect used car, Stockton Honda has the selection, financing, and savings you want. Plus, get top dollar for your trade. Anytime, anywhere, it's all here. Stockton Honda.com. total viewing Honda certified vehicle car sales from American Honda Motor Company's own report. Life is uncertain. It's okay to feel stressed, anxious, worried, or frustrated. It's normal. With CalHOPE's free and secure mental health resources, it's easy to get the help you and your loved ones need when you need it the most. Call our warm line at 833-317-4673 or live chat at calhope.org today. Capital Casino, Sacramento's number one poker room, continues their $500 primetime football giveaway through the playoffs. That's $500 per game for the late games played Saturday and Sunday night. Still located conveniently downtown in a friendly environment for the best food, best service, and best actions. It's Capital Casino open 24-7. And please, as always, remember to gamble responsibly. one 800 
Gambler. At Folsom Lake Honda, in addition to great prices on new Hondas, we stock the best selection of quality pre-owned vehicles, and each one of those vehicles is priced to sell now. With new cars in high demand, Folsom Lake Honda has a great selection of quality one-owner trades. With low miles, and each is priced to sell now. Every used vehicle on the lot comes with a Carfax vehicle history report and has passed a safety inspection. Shop our entire selection at FolsomLakeHonda.com. Folsom Lake Honda. At Ashton or Price, over the last 25 years, we've won just about every injury case you can think of. Slip and fall, falling merchandise, fell through rotted decking, we won those. Dangerous stairs, falls into holes, dog bites, won them. Injured while pedestrian or on a bicycle, auto, motorcycle, big rig, company vehicle, Uber, or Lyft accident, we've won them all. And the best news is there's no fee until you win. So no matter how you got injured... Remember, for the best advice, don't think twice. Call Ashton and Price. American Energy wants to make sure you and your family are safe this winter with a $49 furnace tune-up. Plus, if you're ready for a new one, get half off with American Energy's 50% off furnace special. With 0% financing and payment plan options available, there's no reason to keep putting off making your home safe, warm, and comfy for you and your family this holiday. Call American Energy today at 916-520-9990 or visit AmericanEnergyAir.com. American Energy, making the uncomfortable comfortable. 50% off furnace when you purchase a whole home HVAC system, limited time only, cannot be combined with other offers or specials. Guys, want to lose weight, improve your performance, and increase your drive? Revive Men's Health can help you make it happen with our new cutting-edge weight loss medications like your favorite athletes and celebrities use. They're affordable and available now. And since your testosterone level has a direct impact on your weight and fitness, get a free T-check and free exam. Book your appointment today at Revive Sacramento. We know we can help you. Call 916-277-8599. That's 916-277-8599. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. They bleed black and purple. It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. On your local sports leader, Sacktown Sports. All right, Teasy Pants. (laughs) Wow. Teasy McTeaserton. So, I just want to present this because there seems to be still a, a, a large contingent of folks who think the Kings need another big, a backup big. Not happy with the situation. I just want to throw this out there. We mentioned this name earlier in the year, and people always, I don't just say always, but people definitely are like, really? That guy? Listen, former all-star in the league, Hall of Fame talent, right? I mean, we've all said that about this guy for years. Hall of Fame talent. And uh, and I think maybe we'll get in the Hall of Fame. Oh, okay. But, you know, hasn't been an all-star in several years. I think injuries really played a factor in that. You know, some other stuff, you know, a head case for sure at times. I think that's played into why, you know, he's bounced around the league as well. Hold on. Let me, I think I know who you're talking about, but let me. Uh... All right, go ahead. Keep going. Well-known in NBA circles again. Talk about Dwight Howard. Mm, that's, yeah, Dwight, the bottom, very runny pen. Um, Seems to still have some game left. He's playing in uh, China currently. I'm going to give you the same question with Dwight Howard. Has a ring that a lot of people. Hold on, who cares? Like, I care. Does that? I mean, does that? Because matter? he wasn't. He was an integral part of that championship yeah, Lakers well, team. And and, and 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 Shaq was an integral part of that Lakers team too. But you know, and people still signed him. That doesn't and he was still right. starting at the end of his career. I, I, I'm going to bring up the same thing about Dwight Howard. A lot of people bring it up to me to be fair about the Marcus Cousins. So, um, there's no doubt he's a big body. There's no doubt there's some skill there, but is, is Dwight, you want that? Dwight just seems to do some weird things. There's weird things. And then there's a, you know, a cancerous presence. Meanwhile, so I'm the speak, guy who wants to be able to by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I, I fully acknowledge I that. think over the years, Dwight has matured. I mean, he's still, he's always going to be Dwight Howard. Always going to kind of be squirrely, you know, doesn't take a whole lot of things too seriously. But I think he's matured over the years. I, I, I don't doubt that. And, and that is... You know, listen, I'm a little bit biased because of my old night show. I'm the one who had Mary Carey in studio that spilled the beans that uh, she was at. Uh, Chris Kirkpatrick, is that an NSYNC guy? Yes. Yeah. She was at a party at his house and Dwight bursted into it. I won't get into the whole story, but yeah, let's, let's, just say, let's just say, well, no, it was later picked up and proven. I mean, he, he didn't deny it, but 
uh, he was he was making some poor decisions. And uh, he was also like that. He came into the league straight out of high school. He's like 17. Yes, that's that's also the other part of it, too. And, and honestly, I don't I don't dislike Dwight. And I also don't dislike the idea of Dwight Howard as he's about to say why he doesn't. No, like no, it. no, no, no. I'm just I'm bringing up his stats so we can honestly we can have a conversation about it. So last year, uh, 60 games with the Lakers, 16 minutes. Uh, he had he averaged six points, six boards. 0.6 assists and steals. Wow, this is kind of weird. Six, hold on a second. 60 minutes, 60, 60 games, 16 minutes. Oh, I'm sorry. 60. <laughs> 60 games played. That'd be a record. 16 minutes, 6.2 points, 61% from the field, six rebounds, 0.6 assists, 0.6 steals, 0.6 blocks. As I, a sixth man. <laughs> right. I just thought it was a little bit weird with all those sixes. Anyways. I don't know. I think the thing that I like the fact that that six rebounds in 16 minutes, there's right. nothing wrong with that. Uh, over the Kings, the Kings get killed on the boards, especially when Domas is out of the game. I don't hate it. I don't hate, I don't hate it. I'm not like, no. Part of it is I don't know who else is an option. Right. And, and the other part is I honestly don't know. Is there a buyout? Well, that's the thing. The difference is like, that's, that's going to just be a money thing mm -hmm. as opposed to costing you another player. Like, if you're trying to get JaVale McGee, a player on Charlotte, a yeah. player on Miami, you likely have to give up a future pick or something else. Sure. Or this one would be buying it, purchasing a contract to get him, right? Yeah, and I don't know. I don't know what – maybe he, he more than likely has an NBA out clause. Yeah. They, they have players that play overseas usually do, ex-NBA players. So if he's got an NBA out clause, easy. But also, is it a buyout? Do you have to – you know, if you're having to throw down – three million dollars to get him out then again as i'm thinking about it out loud i don't believe that comes off the cap i don't think buyouts no, come off the cap so that. then who cares that's for yeah. the best money just, right just write the check v yeah um i don't know i don't hate it yeah i i i personally still think the kings need another playmaker off the bench over this so you think so would be a better net win for the overall results of the team and that playmaker, and that always sounds like a guard. That doesn't have to. It could be a center. I don't think it would be. Davion Mitchell, playmaker. No, Malik Monk. He's more. He's the mo, he's the closest one off the bench. Their playmakers are Fox and Sabonis to me, and then Monk. Sure, Terrence Davis. Mm -mm. But it could be a wing. It could be a four. It could be a three. It could be a five. I I think they need defensive help certainly i'm yes. not trying to say they're oh they got it figured out no but i i feel like the bigger net win would be another decision maker strong decision maker that can get their own shot or create for others off the bench more than a more than a backup big i think so okay because they literally have the big body i mean they have bodies in homes in len i don't think they're getting what they want out of them but and Kata. I have a list here of current backup bigs available. Okay. Okay. Just give that me are available. That are available. Okay. As far as I know, as long as this list is right right now. Um, we talked about DeMarcus Cousins. Mm -hmm. Taco Fall. Yeah. No. Okay. Derek Favors? Mm, no. He's 31. What's right. weird is he's 31. Right. He's the same draft as DeMarcus. Anis Cantor. Good rebounder. Dwight Howard. Myers Leonard. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, Craig Monroe is only 32. Mm. Yeah. Tristan Thompson. Hmm. Killian Tilly. Really? He's available. I thought he got drafted. The, the thing what's fun about Monroe uh -huh. is you want a guy that can work out of the high post similar to Sabonis. Now he's obviously not Sabonis, but the guy can, you can run a bench unit through him in the high post. I don't think it's going to be great, but if you're looking to replicate sure. the offense, He's a guy that operates out of the high post. I mean, let's remember, we're talking about a backup big 8 to 12 minutes a night, not somebody who's going to come in and uh, be in all the videos. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Cody Zeller? I like what you said right there. You know what that says at all. Okay, all right. Also, isn't there a Plumley out there? Did you mention a Plumley? Oh, there's four uh, there's, there's like 50 of them. All right, don't, don't throw tomatoes. Don't throw tomatoes. Because we've got a bunch of them here. You're going to want to throw tomatoes. But I'm just going to throw this out there. Is that Whiteside? Is that Whiteside? Yeah. 
Like, I mean, I guess I go, what's the cost? And honestly, is that any of these names that we said dramatically better than we were in a spot like um, Rashawn Holmes is a backup big is as good as you can have in this league. And now all of a sudden it's either being not used properly or not getting the results out of him. Um, he's a quality backup big man. That's just not getting the same kind of production or they go to Lyles or met to, and not met to lately, but like they play smaller. 18 minutes and 65 games for the jazz last mm-hmm. year, 8.2 points, 65% shooting. 7.6 boards, 1.6 blocks. That's actually better for the minutes than Dwight Howard was. So I'll, I'll ask you this, Jay, since you brought it up, why not Hassan Whiteside over Dwight Howard? He had a better year. Well, there you go. That solves everything. I don't think it does either. I'm just saying. I, I, you So you'd rather have Hassan over Dwight Howard based upon numbers from last year? I We know who Hassan is. We know who Dwight is. We know who he is in Sacramento. We know who Dwight is, period. And Hassan's put up better numbers last year. I'm saying I know we're basically picking between a TV dinner and one of the <laughs> microwave burritos. I, I'm, I'm going with the microwave burrito that of Dwight what Howard we're doing. And over your uh, hungry man you, white yeah, side. But it's with the little white pudding. <laughs> oh, you know, shut that, up. That you warm. Anyway. Actually, now that you mentioned Greg Monroe, that, I, that weirdly now I'm kind of like... A, Interested in that? I mean, I know they just signed PJ Dozer to a ten day. Oh, give Monroe a ten day. What are uh, Rashawn Holmes' numbers last year? Rashawn Holmes' numbers last year? Mm-hmm. Because that's what we're doing. You're looking at last year's numbers for these guys. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think Rashawn Holmes' situation. Well, Rashawn wasn't very good last year either. But you know, but we're just looking at yeah. He was context. earlier in the year. Yeah. Before Sabonis got here. Do we not think? Do we not think that Hassan Whiteside would be would contribute more? And I'm not. I've never that. seen anyone stand so hard for Hassan Whiteside than you. You are like I'm just. If saying, there is a number one fan of Hassan Whiteside in sports media, I think you win that in a landslide. Well, sports media, first off, especially Sacramento media and fans, <laughs> hate Hassan Whiteside. Except they you. Hate him. Except oh, you. One point <laughs> six blocks per eighteen minutes. Oh, there you go. Per no. eighteen, all one point lo- six. All we're looking solves for- everything. All we need is some backup defense in the middle. All we need is a foul sponge who can come in and block a shot or two That's and go all. back to the bench. That's well, it. I'm That's all you need. That, that that thing. Plus, he's a playmaker. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, That's I, what he's known I, for. Yeah, he's known for his playmaking. Uh, all right. There's one other name of note on this list. He's 29 years old. Played at a huge program. Top 10 pick in the draft. Been known to block a shot or two. A little inconsistent. Never been in any sort of real trouble. He's got three names. Oh, God. I don't have it yet. Oh, I have it. Uh, oh, I have on, it 100%. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, seven foot. Seven foot, I think. Rim runner. Rim runner. Rim runner for sure. Really familiar with the city, but not DeMarcus Cousins. Good with the paint, not necessarily in the paint. Uh huh. Um, that should give it away. Name, uh, first name, uh, first name is the same first name as the first Mickey Mouse cartoon. Also, a former mayor of San Francisco and a slang oh, so term for a body part. Oh come on, Jason. I'm now. I'm. I'm just overwhelmed. I'm talking about. Say it with me. One, two, three. Willie Collie Stein. Oh, Jason just did the he did the double hand wave with his eyes. No. Just say he's out there. Or wait, are you doing the thing where like you're sitting there and you're like, you know, that's not a half bad idea, Dave. And Jay? Most mostly Jay. Trill. <laughs> Trill. Come what hey. You know what? Much like LeBron James, it all started here for Willie Colley's time. Why not go full circle? Bring the prodigal son home or whatever that prodigal yes, prodigal prodigal, 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 whatever that what is. What you call Malcolm them? Brog- 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 Brogdenical Malcolm son. Malcolm in the middle. All right. Well, let it be known that Jason Ross doesn't like Willie Colley's son. Fair enough. <laughs> What Jason and the rest of us, uh, we all love, I love it, you love it, we all love it, is uh, we like saving money. That's what uh, Shelby is here to do with you. Whether it is <laughs> whether it is real estate, whether it's uh, refinancing, 
or whether it's solar. That's right. Solarwithshelby.com. 30% federal tax credit coming back as cash. Come on. 30%. They'll finance the whole thing. So let me let me let me spell this out for you in simple terms. Would you rather pay PG&E for your solar? Would you rather own your own solar and not have to worry about rate hikes? Ever. Would you rather be able to sell your solar back to the grid? Would you rather lock in and prevent any sort of energy inflation? Would you like a federal tax credit? Financed? It's going to be the same thing you're doing now, except you're paying less. Here's the thing. You go to Shelby, he goes, okay, same thing you're doing now, except your monthly bill is less. You just added value to your home. You got this giant federal tax credit. You own your own energy. Why, why would you not do that? It takes you five minutes to just call Shelby. SolarWithShelby.com. SolarWithShelby.com. Let him save you some money. Coming up next, we'll talk to Matt Barrows, not only about the Niners' regular season, but the unprecedented access he got in the Niner locker room. Only Matt Barrows joins us next. The only place you'll find Kevin Herter is Sacktown Sports. Herter's open, steps into three. He's got the triple. Hey, Sacramento, it's Kevin Herter, and you're listening to the home of the Sacramento Kings, Sacktown Sports. Your local sports leader. That. We'll get you set up for some stronger starts. You might just need a fresh charge, and we'll take care of that free of charge. But if it is time for a new battery, we've got replacement batteries that'll fit your needs, starting at just $79.99. You can learn more about our battery selection at AutoZone.com. That's what makes us America's number one battery destination. Get in the zone, AutoZone. Claim based on data from the NPD Group 2021. I'll second guest dinners with friends because they can be interrupted by diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or oily stools. It turns out I have EPI, or exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, which means I'm missing the enzymes needed to digest food. My doctor prescribed Creon pancrelipase, an oral prescription medication that replaces pancreatic digestive enzymes. Creon treats EPI due to cystic fibrosis, chronic pancreatitis, pancreatectomy, or other conditions. Creon may increase your chance of fibrosing colonopathy, a rare bowel disorder. Tell your doctor if you have a history of intestinal blockage or scarring or thickening of your bowel wall. If you're allergic to pork or if you have gout, kidney problems, or worsening of painful swollen joints. Call your doctor if you have any unusual or severe gastrointestinal symptoms or allergic reactions. Take Creon as directed by your doctor and always with food. Do not chew capsules as this may cause mouth irritation. Other side effects may include blood sugar changes, gas, dizziness, sore throat, and cough. These are not all the side effects of Creon. Creon is the number one prescribed EPI treatment. Ask your doctor about Creon for EPI and visit creoninfo.com or call 800-633-9110 to learn more. That's C-R-E-O-N-info.com. Welcome, Doug Christie here for the Good Feet Store with a question. How is the game of basketball like the Good Feet Store? And the answer is the very best basketball players do it all. Shoot, defend, rebound, they do it all. And the Good Feet Store does it all too. Good Feet manufactures their own line of arch supports over 300 styles, sizes, and flexibilities. Good Feet arch support specialists at every store personally fit every customer for free with no obligation. Lastly, Good Feet sells its arch supports exclusively at over 200 Good Feet stores nationwide. Sore feet, aching back, knee or hip pain, even plantar fasciitis? When nothing else works, come to the Good Feet store and experience the comfort, balance, and support of the Good Feet three-step art support system. The Good Feet store in Sacramento, Roseville, Stockton, Modesto, and now Vacaville off Nut Tree Parkway by Sprout online at goodfeet.com. Time to check out Coastside Medical Clinic, who's dedicated to providing breakthrough remedies for men. From the Power Business Technology Toshiba Studios. KHTKAM HD1 Sacramento. KYMX HD2 Sacramento. Your home for the biggest matchups in the NFL. Sacktown Sports. The Carmichael Dave Show. He's on the microphone. When he's not on the microphone, he's playing a song. And when he's not playing a song, he's on the microphone. And then boom. With Jason Ross. Hey, Jay, hey, my headset's f- Call or text at 916-339-1140. It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross on Sacktown Sports. All right, still to come on the program. We got more Kings Orlando tonight. 
See how we did a three for, or not three for, three in the key against the Lakers. That stupid game that I don't care about. Want to remind you all, not that you need reminding, just, you know, we're live local. I, remind was the wrong word. Just want to let you know if you're at your house right now. Uh, we've said it twice before today. I don't mind saying it once an hour. It's bad out there driving in this morning, which I don't think it's as bad as it was this morning. And, and now you can see a little bit more. It was, you know, pitch black when we came in. Uh, it's as bad as I've ever seen it. Yeah. Be careful. Uh, please be. If you can stay home, stay home. If you can work remote, work remote. If you have a sick day, if your boss is understanding, whatever it may be, uh, stay home. And uh, if you got to go, please, please, just please be careful. Mm-hmm. It is really, really bad out there. All right. Joining us right now. Got to talk about the Niners. If they begin, hopefully, a long run, a march to uh, the Super Bowl in Arizona this year. The one, the only from the athletic. That's right. Three syllables. Hmm. The one, the only Matt Barrows. Hello. Hello, guys. How are you? Yes, Great. Four syllables. Athletic. athletic. Yeah, 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 you put right. a lot on it. Athletic. Yeah. 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 Uh, Matt, before we get to the nuts and bolts of yesterday's game and before we get to the nuts and bolts of this playoff march, I want to tip my cap to you. I want to say, was it last Tuesday uh, that your your piece on the Niner uh, it was last week. Your piece on on being in the locker room uh, came out on the Athletic, and how cool is that? Uh, no offense to any other journalists that cover the team, but they're obviously not as good as you or trusted because you got exclusive access into the locker room. You talked about how players are coming up to you saying, "What what are you what are you doing here?" In like a <laughs> nice way. How cool was that for Kyle to let you to be able to do that? Uh, very cool. And, uh, maybe he picked me because I'm, uh, five foot five, 120 pounds. And he <laughs> figured I would just kind of disappear into the corner of the locker room. I don't know if you ever have seen the footage of them coming out pregame. Um, they have this massive boom box that's yes. red. It's gigantic. So they put that in the corner of the locker room and I figured, okay, I'll stand behind this. No one's, no one's going to see me here. Th- those were my only instructions. Just just don't make yourself really apparent. Just be sort of a fly on the wall. Certainly don't ask questions. Just kind of observe. And I said, yeah, absolutely. No one, I guarantee you, no one will know that I'm even there. And it, it took five seconds for that to be blown up. And, uh, you know, five different guys came up to me in very quick succession asking me what the heck I was doing there. So, um, yeah, that was, uh, that was, I mean, that, that to me sort of, underscored the, uh, you know, uh, uh, but the sacred place I was in, yeah. you know, you know, they, they knew when there was an, uh, an intruder in there right away. Did it play out in your mind? Like you thought it would be, I mean, you've seen, you've been in their locker room, you've been in other locker rooms, you know what these scenes can be, but now you're in a, in a different time period. What, what surprised you maybe the most out of it? That there was so much chaos in there um, initially. I mean, it was sort of the, the, the period, say it was 10 minutes that they were in there. It was divided between chaos where everyone is sort of doing their own thing, you know, getting themselves right, um, you know, tape-wise, food-wise, going to the bathroom, going into the training room. Uh, it's like a bunch of atoms kind of pinging around. Uh, and then all of a sudden it just settles and it turned into a classroom, like a really – intense classroom where everybody's kind of at the edge of their seat looking at what their respective coaches are doing. And then it goes right back into exactly what you would think that the halftime was, which is one guy, in this case it was uh, Fred Warner, kind of giving some rah-rah words in the middle of the room and then them breaking and then them kind of rushing out. Uh, so it was, uh, it was a mix of things. I, I can't – it's hard for me now to remember what I thought it was going to be going in um, but it definitely had uh, all these different phases to it, and it definitely was uh, was a ritual. Check that out on The Athletic as Matt Barrows joins us. Last thing on that, you knowing that you were going to do that in advance, as you were talking, I just had a snicker to myself because I'm imagining, like, D'Amico Ryan's or Kyle Shanahan doing their thing, and you said it's a classroom, and then all of a sudden, like, hit me, baby, one more time comes off your phone <laughs> ringer. Like, were you making sure that your phone was silent? That you weren't like, everyone turns to you in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been very, you know, one thing that I was very grateful of. I mean, I was in a corner where um, uh, Kyle Juszczyk and Juwan Jennings, George Odom, I was in a, a, in a corner where those guys have a locker room. If I had been in the corner where George Kittle, um, had his locker. I mean, he would not have been shy about just, Hey, what is he doing here? And like, uh, you know, really right. making a big thing out of it. So, 
Uh, I chose the right corner in that regard. If it would have been George's corner, I, I might have been really um, <laughs> uh, too apparent, and, and, and a big frown comes off of Shanahan's face, and get him out of here, that sort of thing. Yeah. So it might not have worked out as, as well as it did. Well, Matt, yesterday the Niners got another win. That's 10 in a row. They look good again. Uh, they didn't get quite the help they wanted because they, I'm sure, would have loved the bye. But uh, home field's going to go through them all the way unless uh, – you know, they meet up with Philly in the in the last part of this, the NFC Championship game. But let's start with the matchup this week. A third crack at Seattle. Never easy to beat a team three times. What do you think? Your early thoughts on this matchup this weekend? I mean, um, you know, there are, there are some things that make you nervous if you're a 49ers fan. Um, one of which is, you know, uh, a couple of recent back-end issues, big plays by the opponents. Uh, teams seem to be zeroing in on D'Amador Lenore as the weak link uh, on the back end of that that defense. I think the rain, what you guys were just talking about as I came on, I mean, the weather, bad weather is always a big equalizer. So uh, I, I, I think that the, the talent disparity between these two teams is huge and that uh, the 49ers ought to win it and ought to win it pretty comfortably. But the weather, it can be something that brings those scores closer together. Um, and so whenever that's the case, you're talking about sort of the vagaries of chance, a fumble, uh, a blocked field goal, those sorts of things. Uh, and that's where the, the Seattle Seahawks have made their bones over the years. Uh, it's just sort of fluky plays. Not fluky, because they've, they've consistently made those, but uh, really sort of uh, taking control of momentum on those types of plays. So th- those are my thoughts, but um, if, if we catch a – uh, a, a window in the rain, which uh, which is what happened yesterday in the Cardinals game. Uh, you know, I, I think the 49ers win this pretty handily because they they've won. I know the game in Seattle was closer than they like, but you know, the Seattle had everything going for them in that game. They had home field advantage. They had uh, a rookie quarterback making his first ever start, and oh, that rookie quarterback was so hurt he didn't attempt a single pass in the in the uh, run up to that game. Uh, Purdy's much more healthy uh, than he was uh, back on December 15th. So, um, you know, that's, th- those are my thoughts. Uh, if, if it's a dry game, I think this is the 49ers by a couple of scores. Matt, how long, counting the B, counting everything, how long have you covered this team? Uh, this is my 20th season, Dave. Okay. So 20 seasons in, and I know we all have recency bias and different things. I don't think you have biases. You're an actual journalist. Where do you put this team up against the previous 19 you've covered? Um, it's a great question. I, I really haven't. I mean, I, I've thought about the defenses and, you know, where this defense ranks among those Patrick Willis defenses. I, I always think that that 2011 defense is the best one I saw. Um, that was uh, Alden Smith's first year, uh, Justin Smith at the height of his game. Uh, Ahmad Brooks is better than everybody thought. Ray McDonald was better than everybody thought. Um, but teams, I mean, have, you know, that, that was a really, really vanilla offense they had that year. And it got better when Colin Kaepernick took over and they sort of surprised the league with, with what that was doing. But uh, just in terms of talent and, and uh, different uh, places to go with the ball, yeah, I, I would say that this team from from top to bottom – great special teams too, um, is, uh, is at the top. I think that 2011-2012 team is right behind it at this point. But uh, 2022, I think, takes the top spot. Well, now, I mean, we already knew the offense at times this year was pretty good, but like they had excuses for it not to be with different pieces being out. Mitchell's back, look good. Kittle's staying hot. Debo return. You still have McCaffrey. Purdy's fitting in his role. It still feels like the offense has a chance to just keep getting better. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, look at some of the subplots in this game. Uh, Ayuk going over a thousand yards. Um, you know, uh, for for a while there, McCaffrey had the the lead in touchdowns. This is touchdowns for the Forty Nine ers. So t- touchdowns that he scored since Week Seven, um, and then Kittle took it back, and then Kittle took the lead. I mean, it just shows you um, the diversity of talent. On, on the team, um, and uh, and you're right. I, I thought that the, the Mitchell, particularly the Mitchell game, the way that he ran the ball, just uh, you know, not really kind of tiptoeing back 
into the swing of things, he, he jumped in with both feet. I thought that that was, that was already a win for this team, the way that he moved. There was one play that, that Debo got where he did some dancing along the sideline and, and looked pretty smooth. Um, he's, uh, it looks like he's coming back full bore. So, um, yeah, it's the full arsenal of 49ers. Like, like I keep saying, uh, you know, one good way to kind of mute that, that arsenal is to have a real bad weather game. The 49ers had that in week one. They couldn't muster much at all, uh, and they ended up uh, winning to uh, or losing to a team that I believe now has the number one pick in the draft. I mean, if, if that doesn't tell you what uh, a swampy game can do, I don't know what would. But um, yeah, that would be uh, that would be my biggest concern going to this game. I wonder. I'm not a stat guy. I'd love to find out. I wonder how many teams have had eight 100 yard receivers and have had five. 200 or better yard rushers mm. for the season. What a, what an absolute diverse uh, offense for this team. And, Matt, we look forward to talking to you throughout what is hopefully, as we told Greg Papa last week, a very, very long and fruitful playoff run, my friend. Yes, me too. I hope that uh, we're still talking in February. Yes, I count on it. I mean, either way we will, but I mean on the air, right? That's what you meant, right? <laughs> Oh yeah, right. Yes. Instead of our, you know, our, our daily uh, things where we discuss life and all that stuff. We meet at the train tracks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. Have a great Thank week, you. buddy. All right, anytime, guys. All right, take Bye. care. That is that Matt? Right? <laughs> I'll take a break. He said it, not me. When we come back, let's talk about what Matt said. I want to get into that offense. Uh, as well and really who is the big concern in the nfc let's talk about that niners road to a super bowl coming up right after this the only place you'll find malik monk is sacktown sports oh my what an athletic move that time by malik monk hey sacramento it's malik monk and you're listening to the home of the sacramento kings sacktown sports your local sports leader California's largest sportsman's expo is back January 19th at Cal Expo. Buy the latest gear. Learn from hundreds of experts in fishing, hunting, and outdoor recreation. See Toyota's powerful Tundra. This is the place to discover your next adventure nearby or around the world. Your life outdoors at the International Sportsman's Expo, January 19th through 22nd at Cal Expo in Sacramento. More info at sportsexpos.com. Dancing crew, trip for two, nail the final interview. Game with Doug, brand new mug. Come here, kid, give me a hug. The more you want to do, the more we want to do. New COVID-19 boosters designed for recent Omicron variants are now available. Learn about eligibility and schedule a free updated booster today at vaccines.gov. Sponsored by Pfizer and BioNTech. The Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. Call or text at 916-339-1140. On Sacktown Sports. A couple of notes here real quick on the NFL in general as we get into the playoffs. We do not know, and I don't even know if the Ravens know the status on Lamar Jackson. Man, you want to talk about uh, hit or miss there. Yeah. It's, if Lamar Jackson's playing, they're, they're, they're a dangerous team Absolutely. in the AFC. If he's not playing, they're 100% not dangerous. Right. Like, mm. at all. Like it's that a world of difference is, with him. Yeah, very much so. The other one that bears watching, um, listen, it's, I don't think, and I think most people listening don't think, I mean, we can sit here and say on radio shows and on Twitter, it's easy from our world. This shouldn't be a tough decision. In the multi scrillion dollar NFL business with everything on all this stuff going on, I do not envy uh, Mike McDaniel and the Dolphins. Oh, right. I, you'd think common sense would say, guys, we're going to sit to a for the remaining. He's not coming back. Mm -hmm. Like, and we're certainly not, because imagine, again, not a doctor, to a place in the playoffs gets another concussion. I'm old enough to remember when concussions basically stopped Steve Young's career. I'm old right. enough to remember when concussions, amongst other things, basically stopped Troy Aikman's career and God knows who else. And now that you're far more educated on CTE and everything from there, and you know, you see Junior Seau and the tragedies that have come from it, it should be a no brainer, no pun intended. It should be a no brainer to attack attack by Lois, should not play the rest of the year at least. But I guarantee you there are some sweaty palms and, and, and wringing hands going on right now in Miami. It's the brutal part of the sport where it's, hey, 
We probably have zero chance without him. Right. Can he play? Well, he shouldn't, but can't. No, can he play? Can he play? Well. Is he hurt or is he injured? Right. And it's like, we want to beat the Bills. Right. Well, I know you do. Yeah. Do you care about the player? Do you really care about the player? And he's probably, I don't know this, but if I had to guess, he's begging to play. Yeah. But you got to, it's like a corner man in boxing. Got to save him from himself. You got to save him from themselves. And I, I don't, you know. And it really is a big difference between ah, the ankles hurt. Uh huh. This is the brain. Multiple, We're about livelihood. Multiple times this year. Yeah. Multiple times right. this year he's had concussions. Yeah. I, I, I don't, I don't, that whole thing has been handled. Weird. I mean, you and I were here when Mike Lamb was here and he, you know, had a, a smaller level of NFL, but he played college and if like, you would watch him walk down the hall and like, oh, mm-hmm. it looks like it hurts. Yeah. And he just looked uncomfortable always. Yes. And you just think about, okay, an ankle or leg, those are, hazards of the job sure. but like you just don't want you know yeah you don't want brain issues right i mean you don't want any of it but exactly I, but I, I, this is somewhat preventable mm-hmm. i guess going forward now it's already happened the the first couple of concussions but you can protect him going forward right now i think he's had at least he's had three all this year right all this year yeah. uh. so here's the thing you leave it in the doctor's hands right which really is what it should be right hey you leave it in the doctor's hands well here's the problem with that here, here's why that's not going to completely happen. Because if you're an actual doc, again, not a doctor, but I'm taking a guess. I know doctors are listening. Call in and tell me I'm wrong. If you're a doctor, here's some things that you can't say. No, nope, not really a risk in him going back in. You can't say, hmm, there's no risk. It won't exacerbate the problem. You can't say, no, I fully have been able to see what the issue is. And I, we know exactly how much damage is being, has been done to the brain. If, if you're an actual doctor, you go to the NFL, you go to the, the Dolphins, you say, he's had three concussions this year. At best, he's not going to get a concussion, but the odds of that are really, really low. It's best for him to not ever play football again. It's best for him also to not box. Mm-hmm. It's best for him to not go on 200-mile roller coasters that stop on a dime. Like Anything that's going to knock his head around, probably not a good idea. Or at least, uh, here's the other thing. Remember in Hard Knocks how they had the little uh, yeah. the hat on the mm-hmm. thing? Like, why can't they just bring the? Who cares if it looks stupid? You can paint them, put a logo <laughs> on them. If it, if it if it helps. Yeah. Anyways, that's a put that, feathers on it too. Dress it up. Yeah. Be, be dazzle exactly. it. But dazzle it. Make yeah. it sparkle. Yes. Uh. So interesting stuff from Matt. I thought it was interesting, honestly. And this isn't on Matt. I I would have probably said the same thing i thought he was going to say i'd put him up against I, i'd put him up with every you know with the best of the team yeah but he was really specific there defensively at least is what 2011 he said exactly yeah. and and i don't disagree with him now when you look at the nfc and you look at the the possible road for the 49ers the question then becomes who who's who's the who's the biggest roadblock for them and i i think we agree it's it's not going to be most likely Seattle, you would think. No, I mean, I think besides the obvious statement that, hey, anybody can beat anybody, that is factual. We know right. that. Um, you're a Niner fan. I mean, what's the biggest concern? I mean, Philly's got a better record, and you'd have to beat them there, but that doesn't sound like it's impossible to me. Mm-hmm. I feel like the Niners can – and honestly, we just flipped it and said the Niners were somehow the seventh seed and had to win every game against all these teams, whether it's Tampa, Dallas, Minnesota – whoever the field is, the Giants um, and the Eagles all on the road. Yeah, they could do it. So that tells me, I mean, one, the Niners are more besides the more than capable. I just think they can be, I can think they can beat all the teams in the NFC. I really do. I do too. I got to tell you, there are two teams and there's a reason they play the games. Mm-hmm. Who knows? Maybe they get to the NFC championship. We've said all year that, and you and I agree on this, that uh, they would beat Philly. Maybe, maybe Philly wipes them, mm-hmm. but on spec, there's not a team in the NFC that I think is better than the Niners. I agree. I think, uh, to me, of the list, I think when right, Dallas is very capable. They haven't been right for a while. I haven't liked the way they've played for five or six weeks. And I guess Philly, I mean, got to honor their record. But Minnesota's got a good record. I don't think anybody believes in them. No. There would be some concern, I guess, if you ever get to Tampa and it's Tom Brady. But that's going to be later on. And yeah. and. You know, if Tampa is there, then obviously they've done something right. If you're seeing them in what, like the a- NFC Championship game, yeah, good for them. But um, Giants are new at this. I think their road is pretty nice. 
I think we're looking at what? So you've got the the Seahawks, mm-hmm. and then you're looking at the winner of what is it? The Giants and Vikings, I think. Unless there's an upset, you yeah. got that. You got Dallas and Tampa Bay, Giants and Vikings. Right. So depending on which seed, but I'm looking at all four of those. Teams. Right. Feel good about that. I would say, and especially because they'd all be in San, Santa Clara. Yes, I would say of those teams, the one that. They've really kind of fallen off lately, but the one that still bothers me a little is the Cowboys. Yeah, that's the one I. Agree. Cowboys could get hot. That well, if they if they are complete, their defense is good. Yes, Dak's been disappointing. Yeah, the run game can do some things. I I feel like they have potential. So yes. now we're talking about one game. If Dallas plays good football, that to me is a dangerous team. They haven't been playing good football. No, but that they're capable. But I mean, just picture the Niners on. If the Niners play a good game. Mm-hmm. Like to a really good level. Yeah. Who's beating them in the NFC? The, the, in the NFC, if they play to their level, I don't, I think, and, and that's if Philly played to their level, mm-hmm. I, I don't think Philly beats them. Now, there are two teams in the NFL that worry me. Right. And they're both in the and AFC. In the Super Bowl. And that's Buffalo and that's Kansas City. I agree with that. Those are the two teams where I think, where I'm sitting here, and, and if you said, all right, they're all going to play at the top of their game, I'm going, now would I get can I give you a third if it plays this way if Cincinnati gets there yes because I think they've won yeah. seven or eight in a row yeah. and that means they're beating one or two of those teams yes. Buffalo and Kansas City yeah. then I think you go oh man they're back in the Super Bowl again uh Burrow is obviously rolling at that point yeah all the all their weapons I think they would they would catch your attention yeah Cincinnati's starting to get a little uh that's gonna be the right analogy but will Floyd Mayweather on me and, mm. and what I Floyd Mayweather used to, as undefeated and as flashy as he was, there were so many fights I watched to Floyd's where he'd lose like the first two, three rounds. You're like, and then as the as the fight went on, Floyd would like download the other boxer in his brain, and then next thing you know, he he, he wins like seven of the last eight rounds. And it's another snooze fest for him. The Bengals are are, are are feeling a little Floydy to me these last two years because you don't, they're not flashy. Although they have a little flash, you know, Joe Burrow's flashy, Jamar Chase is flashy. I get it, but you don't really, they're the Cincinnati Bengals. Right. And then next thing you know, oh, look, they're doing this. Oh, they're doing, oh, okay. There they go. They're, they're in, they're in first. And now they're 12 and four and they've won eight in a row. Right. Everyone's talking about the Niners. Right. They're 12 and four and they've won eight in a row. And they're the defending AFC champions with the Bills and Chiefs. At what point do we stop calling Cincinnati a fluke? Yeah. Or have we already reached there? All right, we'll take a break. When we return, one more look at the Kings-Lakers game. We have our three in the key entry, uh, both for tonight and our review for Saturday. We'll look ahead to the magic as well. We'll do that next. The only place you'll find King and Murray is Sacktown Sports. Out to King and Murray, straight away for three, and Keegan knocks down the triple. Hey, Sacramento, it's King and Murray, and you're listening to the home of Sacramento Kings, Sacktown Sports. Your local sports leader. Hey there, Jason Ross here to tell you about ACR Solar and ACR Home Services. That could come in handy right now. We know we've just had some brutal weather out there. We hope everybody's home is okay, but everybody's home is not okay. We know there are situations out there with trees and limbs and different things, all this wind and rain. Certainly be careful. Try to take care of your home the best you can and let some of the experts help you if you need it. We were in a spot in this uh, last summer where we decided, I'm so thankful that we did, to get a new roof, and we got that done through ACR Solar and Home Services. And now, with all this rain and wind, and we heard all the stuff hitting the house, like, oh, no, are we okay? We are. No leaks, no nothing. We're very fortunate, but we know that's a risk at any time. But if it's just rain without the wind, hey, we're in great, great shape. So some of you out there I know are always concerned and thinking about what's best for your home. Contact them, ACR Solar and ACR Home Services, different things they can provide. They were great for us. They could do the same for you. Check them out at acrsolar.com. It's hard to find a better selection of 4x4s in stock and ready to drive home today than you'll find at M&S Auto on El Camino right off the Cap City Freeway. New truck prices keep rising. M&S invites you to tour their selection of super clean 4x4s and trucks and save thousands. Tacomas, F-150s, Jeeps, Rams, Silverados. Great deals today on hundreds of 4x4s, SUVs, and muscle cars. First-time buyers are welcome. M&S Auto Sales, El Camino, just off the Cap City Freeway. msautogroup.com. Life is uncertain. It's okay to feel stressed, anxious, worried, or frustrated. CalHOPE can help. Access CalHOPE's free and secure mental health resources. Call 833-317-4673 or live chat at calhope.org. Individual rates, coverage, offerings, and savings may vary. Subject to terms and conditions not available in all areas. 
Hey, small business owner, when's the last time you checked your workers' comp rate? For many small businesses, workers' comp insurance is one of their biggest costs, but some don't check their rate often. Did you know rates can vary? In fact, taking three minutes to check your rate with Pi Insurance could save you up to 30%. Just go to trypi.com, share a few details about your business, and get a quote that's customized for you with no hassle or hidden fees. We know you're busy, but spending just a few minutes to check your rate could save you money. Plus, when you sign up for pay-as-you-go billing, your premium is based on your actual payroll, not an estimate. So your workers' comp audit experience is simplified. See how much you could save with Pi Insurance. Ask your agent for Pi or get a quote at trypie.com. That's T-R-Y-P-I-E.com. We all know the pain of being stuck in the past. But with Roseville Electric, you can get current. Roseville Electric provides you with clean, reliable electric solutions for your home or business. Whether you're looking to go electric, reduce your carbon footprint, or simply save on your monthly energy bill, Roseville Electric has a solution for you. For more info, visit GetCurrentRoseville.com today. Don't miss your final chances at $50,000 with Lasher's Elk Grove Dodge Big Guy Vince Bloom and Sacktown Sports Pick'em Contest. Win a Twin Peaks gift card and a chance at $50,000 at the Hard Rock Casino Resort at season's end. Visit SacktownSports.com for details. This week, R.C. Willie is having a January clearance sale. Hurry in for special clearance savings on furniture, mattresses, appliances, electronics, and flooring. Plus, our zero interest and flexible payment options make every purchase affordable. R.C. Willie, your home, your way. When it's cold and rainy outside, everyone knows Bonnie is leading the way home. Right now, stay warm and cozy with a $79 furnace tune-up. Plumbing, sewer, electrical, heating, and air. Schedule an appointment today at Bonnie.com. This time check is brought to you by West Coast Men's Health Acoustic Wave Therapy. Sacktown Sports. Headlines. With your Sacktown Sports headlines, I'm Jay Mars. The 49ers clinched the number two seed in the NFC yesterday after a blowout win against the Cardinals. Play action, and Purdy going to throw, and it is caught by George Kittle again. Give him 11 on the year, two today. Touchdown, George Kittle! Party finished today with three total touchdowns thrown, and in his first game back from injury, running back Elijah Mitchell finished the game with five carries for 55 yards and two touchdowns. The 49ers will take on the Seahawks in Santa Clara next Saturday at 1.30 in the wild card round. The Denver, the Denver Broncos are in the market for a new head coach and have put in permission to interview 49ers defensive coordinator D'Amico Ryans for their head coaching job, this according to ESPN's Adam Schefter. Another close game Saturday night. The Golden 1 Center finished with an unfavorable outcome for the Sacramento Kings. Second one on the way. It is good. Two-point Laker lead. No timeouts for Sacramento. 3.6 to go the length of the floor. A two would tie it and force overtime. A three could win it. They finally give the ball to Fox. Inbounds pass to Barnes. Right back to De'Aaron. Races, stops, launches from 40. Heel of the ribbon out. Lakers got the win. 136 134. Well, what drama in this one. And the Lakers break the three game slide against the Kings. Yeah, they did. Wasn't all bad news. Taron Fox finishes came with 34 points and nine assists. The Kings look to get back in the win column tonight when they take on the Orlando Magic at the Golden One Center. Coverage begins at 530 with game night on Sacktown Sports. Those are your headlines. Back to the Carmichael Dave show with Jason Ross. Waking you up with the best in local sports. They just make it interesting, you know. It's the Carmichael Dave show with Jason Ross on Sacktown Sports. about you, Jay? You remember that Far Side comic? Yeah, of course. Remember the one? Is it done? I think it is. It's been done. Yeah, where there, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of people in like a farmland, and there's a road, and there's a car driving by on the road by the people, and all these cows are hanging out of the car. They're going like yak 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 at the at the people because like we do we go moo moo. Mm-hmm. So he was like cows are doing that to the. Yeah, it's role yeah. reversal. Yeah, it's a role. Re- it's a, the, the funny. I, I got see, The it, funny guys. thing is, it's a it's a role reversal. Jay. Yeah, but cows yep. can't drive, can they? Uh, have you? How do you know that? Have you ever seen a cow not be able to drive? Uh, by the way, duh. Have you ever heard of a cattle drive? 
Mm. Yeah, it's afternoon sex. Three to six. <laughs> yeah, I know horses. Can. How is it not the cattle drive? How is that not the name of his well, show? How do you incorporate Robbie yeah. into that? The cattle's drive with Robbie and Simone. Yeah. That yeah. does, that doesn't have the same ring. Like if Nick was solo and just the cattle's drive, like that's perfect. But when you have other people, yeah. Well, it's the Carmichael Dave show with Jason Ross. Yeah, but I it's mean, not the drive with there's Robbie. No, there's no pun there. Is my point. Why not call it Nick and Friends? No. If he were the night guy, Nick at night would have just been <laughs> perfect. Would have been perfect. All righty then. We got three in the key to get to, mm-hmm. both uh, from last night. We have to knock it out for tonight. And being that you I mean from Saturday night, who who could make that mistake? Who could possibly <laughs> say on radio the wrong night for the Kings to play the Lakers? My bad, and I apologize. Sorry, I was a little bit tipsy of loss from loss. Something like tipsy that. Tipsy from loss? Yeah. Tipsy from loss. Okay, well, we've got three. Also a character on a show called Loss. Loss? <laughs> yeah, tipsy. Did you see a flicker or no? No. Okay, good. I must be uh, having a seizure. Therefore, let's get to it. Here's the music. Three from uh, three from madness was earlier. Three in the key. Three for in the key. Right now, you know it's eight thirty. We got twenty nine minutes left. Let's. Put, this is the point where they bring in the guy. Guys. They bring in the guy in the bullpen. Yes. Uh, Dave's looking a little bit tired. It's about day. Come on in. <laughs> hey, by the way, it's next weekend. Uh, we get a three day weekend. Yes. Yes. I mean, you know. yeah, we know. Okay. All right. Three in the key. Yeah, you know. I mean, okay. Yes. Here we go. Let's look back at the <clears throat> Kings Lakers game. No. First question we asked. Yeah. Because he's our favorite. Kevin Herter points in threes. Yeah. Dave, you said twenty six points with five three pointers, which was dead on correct. I said seventeen points in three three pointers, which was super wrong. Twenty nine points in six three pointers for Jay. Jay's always a homer. And Simone said 24 points in four three She pointers. doesn't count the afternoon stole from us. Okay. We had someone get it exactly right. Oh, God. Congratulations, Simone. Good job, Way Simone. to leave on, the, on a high note. No. No? Congratulations, Jay Mars. Yeah. Hey, hey. Good job. Buddy. Nope. Uh, let's see. Kevin Herter had 17 points in what? Three threes. And three threes. Hey. Kevin Hurd had 17 points and 3 3. I got it exactly right. Jason Ross, 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 I'm so Jason smart. Wow, we're you, know. the, you guys applauded for Great the other job, show. Thank Ross. you. Awesome. All right. You are a speck of sunshine on a cloudy day. Question two was also answered correctly oh. by someone of the four. Oh. Mike Brown winning oh, damn it, his coach, or would he win or lose his coach's challenge yeah. in what quarter? Dave, you said no and in the third. Yeah. I said yes and in the third. J. Mar said no one in the fourth. Uh, and Simone said yes and in the fourth. No one in no the, fourth the fourth was the one. J. Mar, no the yeah. fourth. champion. No one in the fourth. I got a half right. Yeah, for me. Half right. Um, <laughs> final score. Final score. There's only one oh, person I know. that I picked the Los Angeles Lakers. Hey, now. Now, you had the score a little bit was off. Was I off? Uh, not much. I thought I did. I say 136, 134. You said 122 to 60. Oh, I was like three oh. quarters right there. Yeah. But you did have the Lakers. I did. Uh, I said 121, 109 Kings. Jay said 132, 104. So you almost had the Kings score right. Uh-huh. But he had Kings. Yeah. And Simone had 127, 115. But I think you get that one. I do get that one. So you got one. Jay got one. I got one. Yes. I think you're the overall winner, though, because you nailed not one, but two things. Hmm. Uh, well, Jay got two things. Did he? Well, well yeah, but then yeah, no yeah, but, case, but, but that's we asked the fourth question. Oh, that's that's right. right. Bonus time. Do either of you remember what it is? Oh, no. yeah, it was. Was uh, it last basket? No, because no. I came up with it too. Yeah, it was light the beam at defensive player. Of the yeah, game. Uh, I got close on this one. We all failed. <laughs> yeah, the defensive player of the game was not the Kings. It was probably Monk. He didn't play. I think, and honestly, I think, I think we saw Bryant. Actually, Bryant walked out with with the chain. <laughs> I was going to say, um, had the Kings won. Yeah, I had thought, Fox thrown that in, what do they do? For defensive so player of the game? I, I was going to give it to Slamson. But you know what? Honest, Honestly, if I'm Mike Brown, I don't award one. Right? I say, yeah, He's guys. Like, I get it. <laughs> yeah. I'm wearing it, and I'm wearing it until you play defense. Yeah, exactly. During games. During games. All right, so coming up tonight. Yes. So congratulations to the both of you and, of course, me. Simone, better luck. Well, I guess never again. Ever. Wow. Unless they do it on the afternoon show. Okay. You know, which she likes more than us. Yeah, apparently. Yeah, apparently. Uh, it's Steelers. Yeah, Steeler people. Here we go. We're Pittsburgh. doing a very specific category for you first, Dave, here. Plus minus for Davion Mitchell. Uh, 
I will say Davion Mitchell is a minus three. Okay. It's, it's so weird. I have plus six. I hope you're right. Jay Mars? Even. Zero. Oh, I like that. Good call. That's a very By good the call. way, De'Aaron Fox was De'Aaron Fox was a minus two. <laughs> and DeMontis Simonis was a plus. I mean, just that, that's just a weird stat. It's very weird. Anyways. Um, I will go next on this one. Final score. I am going to ride the Kings train, though it's hey, no. it's been a train that's been uh, stopping too many times. Yeah. I don't I'm, like all the stops. I'm going to go 119-116 Kings. Ooh, I'm struggling with this one. Orlando's a tough matchup for them. I'm going to say the Kings pulled out 111-110. Yeah. Um, I will say 126, 104, your Orlando match. Oh. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Wait, hold on. I, no, no, you know what? I'm switching it. Okay. it did, no, because it didn't work on Saturdays. I'm reversing the reverse jinx. <laughs> same, same result, Kings. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the last one, I'm gonna, it's almost like a dealer's choice. I'm going to let you guys pick what category you'd like for the third and final one. I picked on Friday, Jay. Um, give me points, rebounds, and assists for Keegan Murray. Okay. That's what I was literally looking at. Especially because the coach just called him out last game saying yeah. he can't play all that time and not get a rebound. Yeah. So, Jay, you leave that off. I'm going to go 16 points, three rebounds, three assists. Okay, Dave? I was going to say 16. I'm going to go... Um, I'm going to go 14 points... Nine rebounds, Ooh. two assists. Okay, and I went 13, 5, and 1. Uh, so I, a, think, I think Keegan will listen. Yeah? <laughs> like, yeah, like you? Coach, no, I think oh. Coach, Coach <laughs> called him out, and he's going to be like, okay. I'm going to get all the rebounds. So Keegan has like 34 rebounds. That'd be a record, by the way. The, uh, that was a weird – I mean, no. it didn't last that long the other night, but Sabonis – I think they made it to like about the five minute mark of the first quarter and he didn't have a rebound. Yeah, that's so weird. What's happening? He has 10 in a quarter a lot. Well, and he breaks the record for uh, most consecutive double dubles. He's getting one tonight, right? So? 16. I yeah. mean, I mean, would Orlando be uh, not the toughest matchup? But again, they they got some they got some uh, redwoods in there. They got some big fellers. Yeah, yeah. yeah this one's going to be. This little, might challenge that streak tonight. Th- I agree with you. Uh, he's gonna. This is where you're going to need a lot of team rebounding. You're yeah. going to need a lot of people doing their job, boxing out and making room. And and maybe Keegan's the guy. Maybe Demontis is a boxer outer tonight more than anything. And Keegan's the guy that comes in and, and snatches everything. But let's go. Yeah, let's go. By the way, three games for my son this week. Yeah, how'd they go? Oh, no. they. Um, oh, coming up. Yeah, they're coming up. Well, I mean, has he ready? You have him ready. You said you had a big offseason ready. I'm regiment. mentally ready. Hey. You've been just tearing him down. I've been. T- oh, I'd say, you know what? That game winner, that was, we actually had this conversation in the car, Fred. It's a year ago. I said, that was a year ago. What are you going to do for us this year? Yeah. For us. For us. Real quick. And yeah. one for three to key. Give us Mason's uh, averages on points, rebounds, and assists <laughs> this week through three games. Okay. Interesting. He's uh, a shooter. Well, assists, I mean, what? Because you know, he doesn't distribute. Because if he touches the ball on an ball offensive stopper? possession, they score on. I'm giving him an assist, probably. That no, you have Is to give an actual real assist. Okay, I'm gonna say honestly, I will say he will average nine points. I'm gonna round it off. Nine points, four boards, and six assists. Can you please keep track of this? I will. Yeah, I will. He what, what what days are his games this week? Uh, I think it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Okay. So I'll give you so updates next week after we'll each game. Yeah. 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 He's a big assister person. He's a big what person? A sister. Person. Okay. Not, a, not his sister, but he loves to assist. <laughs> Mason he lo- Skiles. Loves to pass. He yeah. very much doesn't need to shoot the ball. Yes, exactly. Let's right. go. And, and, you know, he just wants everybody else to succeed. Yeah. He wants everybody else to. Like anyone else? Like, uh, I'm going to go with uh, my good friend, Shelby. Huh. At uh, solarwithshelby.com. Yeah, you go, wait, solar with Shelby? I, I thought it was refinance with Shelby.com. Yeah, it is. But it's also solar with Shelby because, like my son, Shelby likes to share the wealth. He likes to make sure that you get a little piece. Now, there's a lot of things I could be saying. Uh, some of you already tuned out, like, oh, solar, I'm gone. Everybody, I'm always getting my door knocked on, and getting like 19 flyers. I, okay, okay. Here's my challenge to you. Go to solarwithshelby.com and ask him if I'm wrong here. Because under almost every circumstance, especially if you have PG&E, you're going to be able to pay the same or less than what you're paying right now for your electricity. 
But you're going to be doing that with a new solar system on your roof. You're going to protect yourself from inflation, from PG&E raising rates. Oh, PG&E is raising rates. Who cares? I own my solar. You're going to be able to sell your solar back now for about triple of what it's going to be in April before the new laws kick in. They'll finance the whole thing. You'll increase the value of your home. Oh, and you get a 30% cash back tax credit on the purchase of the solar. Find, seriously, find the downside. If, if I'm missing a downside, tweet me at Carmichael Dave. Just send me a note. Hey, Dave, you're not mentioning this, though. I, I, that's my challenge. This thing sells itself. You know what I usually say at the end of everything? I say, tell them Carmichael Dave sent you. You know what I'm going to say at the end of this, this, this little spiel? You're welcome. SolarWithShelby.com. That's SolarWithShelby.com. Um, we will take a break. We will come back with news and notes, who's hot and who's not, celebrity birthdays, what day is it today. And before all that, we have pretty big breaking news out of the NBA. For real. We'll get to it next. The only place you'll find Harrison Barnes is Sacktown Sports. He's got the bucket at the buzzer. Harrison Barnes. Hey, Sacramento. It's Harrison Barnes. And you're listening to the home of the Sacramento Kings, Sacktown Sports. Your local sports leader. The new year is upon us with promises of new beginnings and new adventures. But don't let 2022 slip away without savoring the memories of all you enjoyed with family and friends. Hi, this is Frank LaRosa with a word about Naturewood Home Furnishings. Of course, looking forward with anticipation is exciting, but I have a lot to appreciate in this past year, and much of that revolves around time with family and more good time spent around my Naturewood dining table. Watching my grandson get messy with his birthday cake is priceless, and it reminds me that new life is the perfect balance between yesterday and today. Greet the new year with a visit to Naturewood Home Furnishings. See all the fine furniture and accessories on sale with Naturewood's New Year Sale. Find that perfect piece of furniture that's new today and filled with memories for tomorrow. The memories you make with your family will be with you forever. Naturewood Home Furnishings off Highway 50 at Hazel. Look for the water wheel. Guys, want to lose weight, improve your performance, and increase your drive? Revive Men's Health Sacramento can help you address the root causes of weight gain, low energy, poor drive, and performance issues. And since your testosterone level has a direct impact on your weight and fitness, we'll give you a free T-check and free exam at Revive Sacramento. Imagine upping your game, losing weight, and getting in shape all at once. Revive can help you make it happen with our new cutting-edge weight loss medications like your favorite athletes and celebrities use. They're affordable and available now. Weight gain and low T are treatable conditions. We know we can help you. Take that first step and book today. You're only one step away from getting in the best shape of your life. Call Revive Men's Health at 916-277-8599. That's 916-277-8599. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. I wanted to know why some people who get COVID-19 get it so bad. I found out it may be because they have a high risk factor, such as heart disease, diabetes, being overweight, smoking, and asthma. Even if symptoms feel mild, these factors can increase your risk of COVID-19 turning severe. So if you're at high risk and test positive, there are things you can do, like asking your healthcare provider if an authorized oral treatment is right for you. Learn about an option at treatcovid19.com. This message is sponsored by Pfizer. Hey, y'all, this is your girl, Cheryl Underwood, and I want to tell you something. My digestive system used to make me feel sluggish, but those days are over. Now I feel great. That's because I increased my fiber intake with the Metamucil two-week challenge, and I'm still hooked. I just took Metamucil every day for 14 days, and it's really that easy. Metamucil traps and removes the waste that weighs you down, so you feel lighter and more energetic. Now, I never want to go back to that heavy feeling. Are you ready for the Metamucil two-week challenge for a coupon and daily support? Sign up at Metamucil com today. What's hot and what's not? Brought to you by American Energy Heat and Air, making the uncomfortable comfortable. Head to AmericanEnergyAir.com to find out more.
things seem to be turning around. Best record uh, for a while now in the NBA, I'm saying, over the last few weeks. and uh, all, all of that. One thing doesn't matter if you're rooting for the team or not. One thing you never, ever, you never want to see injuries. And there's an MVP candidate, and he has an MCL sprain, and he will be reevaluated in a couple weeks at minimum. That is Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant out for at least two weeks, and uh, so you don't want to speculate, but he'll be reevaluated in two weeks. That smells suspiciously like we may see Kevin Durant after the All Star break, mm. and that's God. That Nets team, man, they They're eighteen and two in their last twenty. Golly, and they're they're. I, I just want to see what they can do healthy and together and play well, again yeah, yeah, over this 20. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. That's, I think that, uh, that Nets team, if they're healthy, is actually proven that they're pretty golly gosh darn good. Well, isn't it the last two years they've been either the favorite or one of the favorites to win the finals? And they just they can't seem to get it together. You had the whatever happened last year. You had the uh, the Bucks when the Bucks went on to win the whole thing. You had you know Durant's foot on the three point line a couple years ago. This is just the Nets are like the weirdest team in the NBA. Three first ballot Hall of Famers, uh, all pretty much in their prime. Some at the tail end, but still. And one of those guys at the tail end, age wise, is an MVP candidate. I don't know. That's that sucks, Jason. Yeah, it does. I don't no. like injuries. Never no. have. Never will. No, never ever ban them. I say. Yeah, yeah. News and notes right now, please. It's time for the news of the day. The latest headlines. The biggest stories. Hard hitting analysis. Yeah, this is none of those things. Well. I like Hello. That. Here's Carmichael, Dave, yeah. and Jason Ross. That's nice. Well done, imaging guy. Whoever that is. The Chicago Bears have the number one overall pick in the NFL draft. They have the most salary cap space by a long shot. They have Justin Fields. They just finished the season on a franchise record 10-game losing streak. The most losses in team history. So if you're a Bears fan, yeah, are you... You're like sad yet optimistic. Yes. Like they won the loser Super Bowl yesterday. Right. And and the Texans really lost it. Although it might not hurt them. Who knows? But now if you're the Bears, right, you're holding that over Houston's head like, hey, swap picks and give us a little something extra. Well, that's the thing. You have to convince Houston that you're going to take Bryce Young. Even if it means you're going to ship him. Or have a QB competition. Right. Or something. I mean, I'm not all those other teams too. Not just we're talking about Houston, but right to leapfrog Houston Raiders. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know some of these other teams that are making a different decision at QB. That it would be so raidery for them. Nah, I guess it would be. Uh, no, it would be super raidery for them. No, it would be raidery for them to trade up to the number one pick and then find a cornerback that can run a four two forty and sh- shock the world by taking him number one. Yeah. They're but really it, overthinking themselves here, Jim. Find an edge rusher that's projected to go 27. Add or add, baby. Man, we just wanted to make sure we got him. And then, and then turn around and trade the one pick for, like, three low first-round picks. Yeah, well, three is more than one. Chicago would do it for Devontae Adams and the Raiders number one. Right? Yeah. I think so. I think so, With too. the Raiders? Never say never. I don't know. I don't know what the Raiders are. The Raiders, Mark Davis would be over in the corner playing with Legos. <laughs> Don't know what he'd be doing <laughs> at all. That is the best visual of I all just, time. Uh, what what Legos does he play with? Does he get like the big adult Legos, like the you know twenty thousand piece Porsche? Honestly, I feel I, like he has. He has or is it Lincoln Logs? He's not, it's that's exactly what I was going to say. It's not even Legos. It's Lincoln Logs. Yeah, he's just. He's, and he's doing the thing where, like, he just makes one, like, circle piece stick, circle piece stick, and builds up. He's like, look, I made a, 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 it's eight feet tall. I and made this. Everyone goes, great job, Mark. <laughs> and tussles the bullhead. I think that's how you stay employed as the Raiders is just, like, applaud anything he does. Exactly. Did you guys hear Mark button his shirt today all by himself? Every email he sends out, they just put on the team fridge <laughs> with, like, a grade. The team fridge. Somebody's got to clean his arrow star. The Tigers are the 13th team of the Super Bowl era. We told you this earlier. To finish the regular season on a 10-game win streak or more. Nine of the previous 12 did not win the Super Bowl. The last team to do that, New England in 03. You got the 76 Raiders. And then, of course, those 72 Dolphins. Uh, I believe they were undefeated. Yes. 
believe they were. Heard about them. Uh, finally, on the news, FanDuel has announced that they will have a Super Bowl commercial wow. that will feature Rob Gronkowski attempting to kick a field goal live. Hmm. The sports book will allow fans to place bets on Gronk. They've committed to paying out $10 million in free bets. I'm looking forward to enjoying uh, Okay. You no. a little upset Gronk and FanDuel, FanDuel took your gimmick? Yeah, I'm the guy who misses field goals. Here's two of the stupidest things about this state. I could name a few, but here's the top two, and I don't know which order. Number one, betting is illegal. Number two, we're one of two states in the entire country where you can't legally own a ferret. What is that? I think number one's worse. You do? Mm. I want a ferret. A lot of ferret owners out there, Jason. I do want a ferret. You do. I, I would own a ferret. They're so cute. And then people are like, oh, well, they could bite. It's like when a cat bites you, dude. If you want to outlaw pets that bite, and I'm a dog You'd guy, have to outlaw all of them. dog is over here like, <laughs> what would you name it? Bueller? Ooh, the ferret? Yeah. Ferret. You got it. It took him. It. it took him almost three it hours, but he came well, through into the game. Second. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, him. And he just dunk. Ferret Bueller. Dominique Wilkins' ferociousness on that one. Even Cleveland. No. Cleveland ferret. <laughs> ferret Bueller. <laughs> now I want you to get one. I kind of do. I promise just have you. To move. If I get a ferret, I will name it Ferret. Bueller. By the way, who's gonna? Am I gonna get arrested? Yes. If I get a ferret. Local radio personality arrested you know for what? illegal ferret ring. You won't if you get a ferret and you gamble on sports. <laughs> exactly. Because there's two wrong. The ferret gambles. Ferret, ferret fighting. Gets, yeah. Taking ferret bets. Fighting. Taking bets like. They just sit in the corner and. Yep. What is a ferret? All right. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. Uh, today's, <laughs> today's National Balloon Ascension Day. Ah. Balloon what day? Ascension. Like when they go up. The go up. Oh, yeah. I just like it when you let go and they have everything. Up. All over this. <laughs> That's ascension. Uh, National Clean Off Your Desk Day. Oh boy! International <laughs> International Choreographers Day. Mm. Uh, here's one: National Static Electricity Day. I think at this point we'd st- settle for any electricity. Yeah. Uh, and uh, finally, National Apricot Day. Okay. Are you an apricot fan? I am. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Jay, are you an apricot fan? That was I, I'm not anti apricot, but I'm not like yo craving an apricot. Are you? Do, you, do you, I? I do enjoy me apricots, but they need to be dried. Are you a dry or fresh apricot? Person? Fresh, really? I like dried apricots. I don't fine. hate. You I like dried fruit? Yeah, I like certain dried fruit. Okay. I think apricots probably the best of the dried fruit. Although I had some dried kiwi the other day. Mm. Good. Yeah, I don't think dried fruit's bad at all. No, not at all. Okay. Okay. Well, back okay. to you, Jason. Oh, no, back to you. Uh, we have oh, back celebrity. to me? We have uh, birthdays of celebrities. Yes, right. Today on this day, let's uh, wish a happy birthday, everyone, to Kate Middleton. We have royalty. Ah, yes. Ah, Princess Kate. Chris's cousin. Yeah. Yes. Uh, she is Good 30... mid-range shooter. 34. 32. Wow. 41. She looks good for her age. she older than uh, than uh, Andy or uh, William, I mean, Billy? Prince Billy? <laughs> Tom. <laughs> Tom Middleton. William? Well, William. I thought he was in his 30s. Might right, be. Well, we've all, right. all aged. Happy birthday, old lady. <laughs> Happy birthday to... Wait. Oh, yeah. Led Zeppelin guitarist Jimmy Page. Ah, Jim. Jim, Jim Page. Jim Page. He turned the... Uh, Jim. Uh, by the way, you know when uh, their drummer died? I was just reading this article yesterday. Uh, I was back in the early uh, 80s or whatever. When their drummer died, they started to play Live Aid. You know who played drums for them? I don't. You know who played drums for Led Zeppelin? You remember? Tommy Lee. Some guy who was up and coming just had a, a single released... Called in the air tonight. Mm, Bill Collins. Bill Collins, Collins played drums for uh, Led Zeppelin. Uh, uh, Jimmy Page is seventy-seven. Jimmy Page is eighty. Jay Mar is seventy-nine. Damn it! To heck! Happy birthday to J.K. Simmons. Oh, not Rowling. <laughs> no. Uh, J.K. We Simmons. are farmers. Oh, and, uh, and Oz. And uh, J.K. Simmons has been in so many different Whiplash. things. Flash, such a great actor. In the Marvel universe too. Uh, he is seventy-three. He's in Zootopia. Seventy-one. 68. Happy birthday to Ocho Cinco. No. He's not 85. Vernon Davis. Chad Johnson. Chad is 44. Chad's 40. 45. Dave Matthews. Oh, uh, Dave Matthews is 50. Dave Matthews is 61. 56. I win. No. He wins. 
Happy birthday to Muggsy Bogues. Muggsy Bogues. See the picture with him and Yow. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Muggsy Bogues is 56. Muggsy is 54. 58. Aha! Wow, that really? note, I win everything. Everything uh, ever. Go Kings, light the beam, beat the magic. For Jay, for Matt Barrows, for Jason Ross, and Carmack Dave, love you all. Bye bye. Waking you up with the best in local sports. They just make it interesting, you know? It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. On Sacktown Sports. That. We'll get you set up for some stronger starts. You might just need a fresh charge, and we'll take care of that free of charge. But if it is time for a new battery, we've got replacement batteries that'll fit your needs, starting at just $79.99. You can learn more about our battery selection at AutoZone.com. That's what makes us America's number one battery destination. Get inside.